Right. Is there anyone there? Let's turn that light off, shall we? So. Right. Hello. I apparently I'm live. So I'm just trying to adjust the lights. Um, I'm not sure if there's a lag. So if someone can let me know if there's a lag, uh, because I've uh, had to do this on my computer, because apparently, even though I have an iPad, which is much faster, much stronger, it's considered uh, it's considered a mobile device. So basically, uh, it's not at all allowing me to do half the things. I can't schedule anything. I can't do anything. I can't see the stuff. So it's just silly. So uh, I have actually done it on my computer, which is just mega, mega slow. I only buy computers for one thing, and that is Microsoft Word and Dropbox, and that's it. And that's all I use them for. The rest of it's on there. So, right, so hopefully this time, guys, so I won't be doing them as often as this because um, basically I just wanted to test it on the computer. So I know some of you guys are here, so I'm going to just go, I'm going to say, Testing, testing, and you say one, two, three. Okay, you ready? So I know how much lag is there. So you ready? Testing, testing. Nothing yet. <laughs> so testing, testing, and we've nothing yet. So obviously there's a, a lag. Oh, one, two, three. Somebody's come through. Okay. So we've got about a 30 second lag from question asked to me speaking. So, right, people are starting to turn up now. Okay, excellent. Right, one, two, three, guys. Urgh. So, you've got a different view of my house. This is the... I very rarely use the telly. In fact, I'd throw the telly away if it weren't for the fact that I quite like DVDs and I collect DVDs. So, I do watch DVDs on the TV, but actually, I don't have a license and I don't watch terrestrial telly. I've binned it. I've taken the aerial out, cut it off, and that is literally a DVD screen. That's it. So, Horns of Doom. Right. Okay, guys. So uh, let's get the questions going, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask. I'll be on here probably between an hour and two hours, depending. And um, then I'm going to shut it down. And uh, I've got a message. I've got a phone, my girlfriend. And then what I'm going to do is probably do this about once a month when I know that there's no lag. The computer works all right. Right. Okay. I music in the background. I write specifically to um, Excalibur, the lead. No, King Arthur, is it? The Legend of Excalibur. I listen to that all the time. I have the Dracula soundtrack, uh, the Kingdom of Heaven soundtrack. I can't, that type of stuff. 13th Warrior soundtrack. Let me just shut that thing. So I won't show you. Me. Right, let's get rid of that. How's that? Is that better? So basically, I go to that because I cannot write if something's speaking, somebody's speaking in my ear. So I do it to those type of soundtracks. Horns of Doom. Let's do it. And so I bought a vinyl player. It's a bit the, the let's put a light on then. Let's try a light, guys. What do you think? How's that? Or oh, is that too bright? How about that? Annoyingly. What do you think? Is it too bright or too dark? Oh, yeah, okay, let's go for bright. Basically, it was um, the lights in this house are not very good for that. Right. Okay. Thoughts on Kusuri Gamma? Okay, obviously, it's not an excuse for ninja weapon whatsoever, but I've heard it might have been used to help capture criminals. Now, the reason I think that this is a reality, the Kusuri Gamma, is because uh, there's an eager Ryu Kusuri Gamma manual, and I have it somewhere deep down in my, uh, my box. And I think what they've done is thought, oh, Igaryu is ninja. So therefore, there's a uh, there's a sickle and chain. Sorry, we're talking about the sickle and chain. Um, there's a sickle and chain skill for Igaryu, and Igaryu is ninja. Therefore, sickle and chain is ninja. And if you look in the um, if you look in Hattori Hanzo's Shinobi Hiden and Banzan Shukai, oh, it's got Kama sickles. So surely, let's put one and one together and get seven. You know, you're like no. Eager Ryu means skills of those of eager, and that includes multiple things, swordsmanship, spear, all of that, everything, and their shinobi no jutsu. There's no reason why Natori Ryu, shinobi no jutsu, um, Akutagawa Ryu, shinobi no jutsu, and you've got sort of Mubioshi Ryu, shinobi no jutsu. Why is it when you get to Eager Ryu, they go, Eager Ryu, ninjutsu, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, shuriken, that. It was just one of those mistakes the Japanese make. 
Favourite ninja movie for authenticity and favourite ninja movie for pure entertainment. We've answered this before. That is actually Sakura Killers for pure entertainment because it's amazing. Authenticity is, uh, it's not a ninja movie, but it's um, Law Abiding Citizen. By far the best ninja movie, even though it's nothing to do with ninjas. Um, and or have you looked into Shigendo? Yes, I've looked. I actually, got, actually, guys. So... Shigendo now. So that's a documentary. I meant to have done a re review on, but I think the company went bust. I can't get hold of them. I was trying to find samples. So uh, too bright now. Is it bloody hell fire? Do you know what I mean? I don't know how to get around this, guys, because it's the lighting. It doesn't really work. So let me know if you can at least see. Do you prefer too dark or too light? Or shall I open them again? And it's literally bright on the face. What do you reckon? Uh, so Shigendo, yes, but I don't see any connection to Ninja except uh, the Yamabushi connection, which is Yamabushi can walk around and therefore they're allowed into different places. And we know they did spells for people and they did uh, rituals for people. And it was like, OK, so move as a Yamabushi as a ninja. But you can move as a peasant as a ninja and you can move as a fisherman. But they don't say the origin of ninjutsu is fisherman. So it's just like, oh, Yamabushi, Shugendo, people like that. They actually have magical powers. Ninjas are magical. Therefore, ninjas come from Yamabushi. It's another one of those bloody Japanese. One plus one equals 957. They just don't, for some reason, they don't really think it through. But it weren't done by professors. It wasn't done by educated people in the sense that it wasn't, you know, it was done by the, the sort of amateurs, if you like, at the time. Uh, hello, right. What's up with the defense against lunge punch attacks in the ninja martial art? Right, first of all, there's no such thing as a ninja martial art, that's a made up. So, you mean like the modern martial art that was constructed? So, um, what's up with the defense against the lunge? What do you mean, what's up with the defense against it? I'm not quite sure what you mean, what's up with the defense? Uh, let me know what I do. Okay, where do you get your information from all these old Japanese scrolls and texts? Is there a physical archive you consulted or is it a digital one? There are, lighting's fine for you. Okay, perf. This computer is actually on a massive sea chest of documents. So I go to different libraries and I get lots and lots of different things, uh, scrolls. I find different scrolls on Gumpo, uh, Gumpo, uh, Gumpo and uh, military skills and basically I go through there checking for shinobi sections checking what I need so there are tons and tons of um, libraries in Japan loads I I've paid hundreds of pounds just to have one scroll um, just to have one scroll photograph they had to bring a photographer in photograph the scroll and give it to me i couldn't take the pictures yeah if you go to the national diet library where the shonen key is you can pay them and they will give you photocopies but if you go to the national archives where the band senshukai is you can just go in you can open it you can pick it up you can photograph it as much as you want as long as you don't you use flash photography so it's all over the place uh okay u.s imperial propaganda okay i'm Right, and the endurance practices may have been seen as having value. Hold on, can you put context in it, guys? Because as I go down, it's like, right, their endurance practices for which one? The film Sakura Killers, you know? So make sure you frame e each new question with something I can understand because I'm not going to remember exactly who asked what question. So whereas you guys can all remember your own questions, I can't remember <laughs> everyone's questions. So Anglo civilization is totally subverted. Okay, everything has been turned on its head. Yep. Not ninja talk, but I'm with you. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Good evening there. The, these historical records that confirm the use of black shinobi using black shinobi. Right. We're in 2020, right? Are we talking about African gents? Because we're in 2020 and they'll make everything about Africa. So, no, there is no, <laughs> there's nothing like that whatsoever. I've never heard of it. Um, and I've never heard of a black shinobi, no. Um, so it's this, it does my head in this. You thought I thought we got past all this with Martin Luther King and all that, and I thought, you know, well, the world's moved on, we're all sensible now, everybody's got their head screwed on, and suddenly uh, it's like, oh, God. And you watched that um, Yasuke animation the other day, the saviour of Japan was an ex-black slave who uh, saved Japan. What? <laughs> no, he was given his... Um, power by Oda Nobunaga, a mini, oh no, it's, it's quite tall Japanese man, he wasn't, didn't take any power, he didn't save anything, it's the same as Will Adams, 
he was used by more powerful men, Tokugawa Yasu, because he had knowledge. Yet everybody fails to remember that the rest of his crew, or most of his crew, didn't become of samurai status, as far as I'm aware. Only I think maybe Richard Cox did. Uh, there's, I've got his diary here somewhere, the diary of Richard Cox. There it is. And uh, he was there with Will Adams at the same time. So, you know, basically Japanese men kept Westerners and, this, and Yasuke and all them because they could use them for their own gains. They didn't do it out of the kindness of their hearts. They weren't like, oh, look at this poor Englishman washed up. What about the rest of his crew? You don't hear about them, do you? About, you know, they were all trading and stuff like that. So, and half of them were prostituting it and buying young girls and stuff like this. And, but clearly, Will Adams, I think, was the pilot and he had the knowledge, geographical knowledge. He, could, he couldn't ship build, but he, um, they made him ship build in the end. And he basically was the smartest one. So they made him samurai and he got his way up the ladder at a time when you could go up the ladder. Okay, right. Japan has been partially. Okay, yep. We out here. The whole crew is here watching. Hello from Illinois. Nice, nice. Um, right. Black Eagle. I'm, I prefer not talking about politics, but keep going. I don't mind. But I'm not a. You know, every government wants power. So, but this is more of a history chat, but crack on. Um, what's the best book of yours to read regarding after reading Book of Ninja? Right. I've done a video on this, so please go like which Samurai Ninja books in order or something like that is called. Basically, it depends what you want. If you want more Ninja Scrolls, go for Iga and Koka, Chikamatsu, because pff, totally, he's like puts it out simply. If you want really easy to understand information, go for um, Ninja Skills. And if you want to go back to what you know what's going on here, just try Samurai Ninja, that one of mine, where the total one. It depends what you want, really, from it. Um, well, okay, hold on. Every time I touch something, it seems to stop it. Um, okay, right, okay, yeah, right, it's just come back, guys. So, okay, so sorry, this because I say it's much better on my iPad, but no, they don't want to use that. I have to use a dodgy old computer. Um, okay, so I'm missing some question. No, I do not want to turn this into a political discussion. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I can't understand why everybody's gone racist. We, we got past that. There was no racism. I grew up in Britain. There was never a single incident of racism that I've ever seen once. Not once. Nobody of any other colour wasn't allowed on a bus. Nobody of, was not allowed into the chippy to buy some. In fact, uh, they had to make sure they had a certain amount of um, non-white people in jobs. It was like the least racist place in the country, and I've no idea what they're talking about now. It's like, where did you grow up? Because I grew up where everybody, nobody, you know. Um, Favourite game on the Ninja? I have no idea. Oh, actually, no, I can't answer that. Shinobi. Arcade game Shinobi. Yeah. Do -do -do -do, the five levels where you go ping, 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 and then the bonus stage. Bonus stage. Oh, I love that. Uh, but apart from that, Tenchu. Um, the winners of that war weren't rank and file Westerners. Okay, right, I'm getting lost on her Black Eagle stuff for the minute. I'm not, I'm not keeping up that much. Check out the book African Samurai based on a true story. Yeah, it was there, but all we know is there was a samurai from Africa. There's not really much known. Everything else is just guesswork. If I remember rightly, Oda Nobunaga, like, like let's be honest, black lad from Africa in late 1500s japan six foot five foot who wouldn't want him around as a bodyguard irrelevant of color it's like he's going to be massive you know you're going to be like okay it's the same as will adams was a pilot off a ship he might have been soft as hell but he has knowledge of the entire world's sort of geography if you like and can pilot ships which commander wouldn't want that obviously they've just gone yep you're massive, and we don't know what the black... And the problem is, we know what um, Will Adams was. We, we we know he was needed for his geographical understanding, his understanding of the West. We just don't know why they picked Yasuke. Out of every slave that ever went to Japan, which must have been thousands of the Portuguese going in ships, nobody knows why they picked him. So he's either mega intelligent, he was mega hard, or he just fell lucky and got some... Who knows? There's no real um, thing here. Okay, forgive me for not being specific. I'm referring to the endurance practice. Ah, oh, Shigendo, okay, I've been seen to have some... Yeah, but where's the connection? That's just that's just made up, isn't it? It's like Shigendo had um, endurance practices. Okay, so what do we mean by endurance practices? Well, they could, what do ninja need? They need to travel a long way. 
but Japan had a postal system, a messenger system, who did far more running than the Shigendo. So the Shigendo people went around, the postal man's like, ah, tick, 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 tick. so why is ninjas not postmen? Do you know what I mean? It's just like, and uh, in a world with no motor cars, with no aeroplanes, no anything, yet transport across the entire network was was still there. There wasn't, people think that the Sengoku period was this closed off area. It wasn't. It actually had low, you could move much freer than the Edo period. You still had checkpoints and stuff like that, but it was much freer and easier to move. So pilgrims, marching, postal people, messengers, scouts. Why, why are ninja only connected to Shigendo? It's because you find that Yamabushi are mentioned a few times in a couple of ninja scrolls when it says use them for disguise. It is never said in any ninja scroll, use the ancient magical ways of the Yamabushi and Shigendo to get yourself to this position. No, it doesn't say it anywhere. So in history, you build a house from the bottom. You don't like build it from the top down. So now there's a myth that Shigendo is part of ninjutsu but okay let's go to the original sources that build that let's let's find try and build that theory how somebody got there oh there isn't one so somebody made it up and it became popular okay the only evidence is that they're good uses for disguise i think isui sensei natoru ryu says you can carry a sword in that disguise therefore it's easy because he's in the edo period and other people are like you can pretty much go anywhere because these are wandering people remember they they're not poor begging half the time they're actually stopping off at houses if you watch this guy he does it in shigendo now try and get shigendo now the guy goes to different houses and they pay him pay him and then give him feed him to do the prayers in the house and that loads of them there was loads of that type of person moving around. We, call, we would say itinerant monks, basically, but people don't understand what that means. Obviously, the word itinerant means to move. So it's a monk who moves around. But what does that actually mean? And you're like, well, he moves around and does monk things. He's not just going off and praying for himself. He's actually learnt, he's earning cash. You still see him on today in Japan holding out the bowls and they still go around blessing people and doing all sorts. So loads of people are moving around. And I did learn the other day about the the government's use of the, uh, or what they call the ones who play the flute. And uh, hold on, my, apparently I think I have to keep pressing this button, yeah. Sorry, I have to keep pressing the button to see where I go. Right, okay. Right, okay, sorry guys. Okay, so you guys are chatting. Well, that's the uh, depiction of Black Mask Ninjas for Combat Specialist. It is also some of the non competitive role. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Sorry guys, I just missed a few. Let me just get back past the thingy. Right. I don't know if I have to keep pressing down. I don't know. Yep, I have to keep pressing down now. Uh, if you could physically visit a certain time period of Japan, which would you pick? Sorry, I'm going to try and answer every question, but I have to keep clicking down, and then I, I don't know if I missed anything. If I click it, it stops my camera working. So, um, actually, believe it or not, people have asked me this before, where you'd go in history. I'd go back to the Jomon period anywhere in the world. I would go back to hunter gatherers and see the first humans moving around the planet. I think it's the most amazing thing. In fact, it's my theory that when the Chinese talk about the ancient, you know, or the ancient masters, they're actually talking about hunter gatherers when they, when people just used to move nomadically and they say, Oh, the ancient masters used to follow the nature. They used to do this and they used to know about nature. I think that's who they're referring to because the Neolithic is about 4,000 BC and you start getting the first people saying a few thousand years ago, the masters. So I think it's actually, I go to Neanderthal time, right? Oh, okay. Thoughts on Shokusugi's uh, past ninjutsu training, just an actor. I've never seen anything to say he was not an actor. It was the eighties. He was selling films. Why wouldn't you say you're a ninja? He doesn't say it now. He's not come out as far as I'm aware saying he's actually got a lineage. It was the 1980s. He was selling, he was making money. Why would you not? You know, it wasn't every, nobody really takes that seriously. You know, like the, the ninja films he did were good fun. And that's about it. Right, sorry, I'm reading Monkey God. I should read them out loud. I find Japan, Japanese clans and their organization loyalties to be interesting. Tracking clan histories uh, could be the next step for history. Me, Mia University are already doing that. They're already tra tracking. They're doing the boring work, basically, which ends up with a result where they're tracking which clans of the Igamono went where and the Kokomono, they're actually doing that. I did a video the other day. If you follow the link in that video, it takes you to a full, full thing on that's what actually happened, but not from the Sengoku Jidai. Um, almost all the techniques in modern ninjutsu is based on someone doing a lunge punch, step forward, and strike attack. Yep, uh, and it doesn't seem to match jujitsu. Does anybody have any idea? Can anybody answer his question? So, CJ's question 
Where does the lunge attack from the Bujikan come from? Do we know? I don't know. I was in the Bujikan. I went to Japan and trained in the Bujikan and the Genbukan. I did that lunge punch a million times. Nobody, I don't, I've never seen it, you know, beyond that. Ichimonji, like that. Ichimonji, the word appears in many things, but I've done Ichimonji quite a few times and I've done all that sort of stuff. But where's it from? They didn't tell me. And I, of the, at the time, was like, yep, I'm learning to be a ninja. This is great. Obviously not. Um, any few, so if somebody can answer CJ's question, where's the lunch punch from in Genbu, uh, Ujikan? Uh, Takamatsu Den. We have to be careful now because Takamatsu Den in it. Any future interest in diving deep into history of some of the older schools like Yagu? I've heard they may have may not since. Right, we did Yagu last time when I was last on the Q&A and there is no, no evidence anywhere to say Yagu did it. There's a ton and ton of anime. There's tons of stuff about the Yagu being ninja. There's not a single shred of evidence that I can find yet. Right, Scott's on everyone. Um, so everybody... Sengoku period studies or Sengoku studies is Scott from uh, Discord, so he'll be answering some of the technical questions uh, while I'm there. So Shigendo is a religion. The majority of what you could call Shino is more likely believes in one of pure land schools like the majority. Right, yep, there you go. So there's no reason that they would simply just be... Uh, they'd be doing Yamabushi things. It's just Remember, you build history from the bottom up, so you get your evidence. So basically... You don't all you have to sometimes jump to a conclusion. You have to sometimes make a guess. But actually, you only do that between the gaps. So if you've got nothing in history, no, no foundation, no understanding of anything, and you guess, that's called guessing. If you've got every piece of information you could possibly find and pieced it all together, and then there's clearly obviously gaps, but you can bridge them because it's obvious in the picture. So imagine the picture of the Mona Lisa and it was painted black and you could only scrape away 70 percent of it. You could probably guess where the rest of the lines went. Yeah, you could do that. You might get some wrong. You might get some close, but you get an idea about what it is. That's how history works. But when you just go, it's a black piece of paint painting, the Mona Lisa's behind it, but it's painted black and you've scratched nothing off it. You go like this. It's an elephant. It's uh, a spaceship. Aliens did it. You know what I mean? So people forget. They try. They forget you have to stack stack history, not guess history. You can guess later at the small things. Oh, right, hold on. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Komuso were the guys wandering around with the flutes, and apparently the government were using them as spies, which makes them possibly shinobi. So, you know, that's the connection there. Uh, when did exist the first ninjas and when the last so okay it depends how you term the word ninja the first time ninjas used in the 1300s but that doesn't mean it's the first time ninjas were really in existence you know what i mean we know that they're mentioned in um we know that they're mentioned in 1300s but probably a ninja someone cl doing clandestine things as a job was before that and we know all samurai life finished when the Meiji Restoration came. The samurai over. We all say 1868, but 1868 is the start of the end of the samurai, not the end of the samurai. That's when they start to end and their jobs start to go. Sorry, I'm getting lost. Hold on. Uh, I don't know how these big YouTubers do this, where the questions go up too fast. Um, yeah, so hold on. So, oh, God, I've missed quite a bit. Right. Uh, okay. So did the new... Yeah, okay. Maybe a lunch punch was just improvised from common sense. Yeah, where's the lunch punch? No, no idea. I assume you're living in the UK now. Any thoughts plans going to Japan again? Yeah, as soon as bloody COVID ends, I'm off to Japan. Three years I've not been there. It's the longest I've ever not been to Japan in my entire life after I first went. I've never done this before, and I'm actually gagging for it now. Have you ever read Genji Monogatari? Uh, that's the Genji Monogatari is the romance one. I think I answered this last time. I have it, but I have not read it, if that's the right one. In what ways, other than being a successful of battle as an Ashigaru, one person could become a samurai or nobleman? I th that's a good... That's actually, I don't know. Beyond being good at battle, how could you become a samurai? You can buy your way in. If you're a rich merchant, you can buy into families or marry your daughter into a family and your generations after can become. But I actually don't know. I'm going to say, at a guess, now this is where you have to say, I'm guessing, I assume mainly warfare mainly warfare but it's a good question uh, uh anybody got any answers for that one is there any evidence for shinobi wearing swords on the back actually zero zero <laughs> zero so we do know that um 
in the Heika Jodan, it says, when you go to a Nansho, which is a difficult area to climb, put your swords on your back, tie them up together. So, yes, there is evidence of people climbing in difficult places with swords on the back, but nowhere does it say, as a ninja, put a sword on your back. So, probably they did uh, when they climbed, but only because that was standard samurai training. Uh, let me just check that by the way guys it's spring water so we really just get a sip and i'm like <coughs> so but i like sparkling water uh, is there evidence to show okay did the japanese ever pick up the crossbow i know they didn't need to be constantly fighting step nomads like the chinese are. we talked about this last time as far as i'm aware the oyumi used to be oyumi you would think means big bow the war bow but actually according to the research i've checked which i haven't seen original documentation it actually means um a crossbow or a large ballista style crossbow and i read many years ago so i don't know how correct it is that uh, the japanese could not um work the mechanisms for crossbows you know the technical chinese mechanisms they just didn't have the sophistication to reproduce them like they couldn't do the gun when that came so i heard that it fell away so i think it was there but then it just died off. But that's it. that's from memory, and I have not checked that properly. So don't take that as thingy. Uh, oh, oh, I thought I was down at the bottom then. Right. Oh, sugar. Right. Okay, guys, I'm going to quickly read these, so give me a minute. Um, okay. Pick up crossbow. Lunch punches. Oh, sorry. Any good recommendations for Japanese literature? I've previously read Musashi. Tag it on the way. Um, hmm. my books, you could read my books, <laughs> but uh, Heike Monogatari, I'm, I'm having a bit of that, and Tai, tai Heike, they're like they're difficult though, you got to get your head around who's who, so they're quite difficult. You started earlier, I saw first episode four on Nindo channel, it's about Hattori Hanzo. I haven't watched it yet, I'll need to watch it. I've not kept up with Nindo channel, I've sort of been off YouTube a bit. Uh, I was only contemplating theorizing that aesthetic practices would build mental endurance. Yeah, it is, but the problem is you jump in there, Buddha. So that's that's the, what a name, eh? A, a YouTube channel, the Buddha, right? Um, so basically, connection to Ninja Zero. But you know, have you seen the anime? Oh, I think I have. Yes, I have. It was proper bloodthirsty, death frenzy. If I remember rightly, it was full of blood, and I loved it. Uh, I thought it was wonderful. I love blood. I love old gothic horror stuff. Um, Ninja, so Shokusugi's ninjutsu could be from the Bansen Shukai. Uh, basically, what did he do? He only threw shuriken dressed in a ninja suit. And so, what did he actually say was his ninjutsu? Beyond his films, I've never seen a quote that says he says this is my ninjutsu. So, what is it? Um, as far as I'm aware, was taekwondo. Yeah, all right. So Scott's just saying he's a taekwondo instructor. I have no idea. Just wondering if Hatsumi's list of grasps was actually real historical character made up. Clearly made up. Um, after a certain point, clearly made up. Now, there, when you say Hatsumi's list, the Bujikan list, there are multiple versions. The um, Ryuha Daiji Ten or the Buge Ryuha Daiji Ten, the original one. If you get the original version, is 1968 from memory, and it's got all sorts in it. It's got Natori in it. I think it's got Fujibayashi in it. It's got um, the Ten Sana, the brave guy in it. So comics, it's like saying Wolverines in it. So it's literally like. And then underneath it, by the that by the um, original guys who wrote the book, says fake, fictional. So it is totally fictional, yes. Um, but many lineages are fictional. Don't take that as lineages are fictional. Up to a certain point, you get your real lineage to a certain point, then it's fictional. Uh, let me just try and get to the bottom of this, and I'll try and come back to that. Um, will you one day do an six Gungaku for the exam? Yes, but well, Samurai Book Two actually has. A Natori who has a full encyclopedia and a scroll on battle formations and all sorts. Yes, I will. But I actually want to do Ninja Skills didn't sell well enough. It sells good, but if I'd have sold loads of copies of Ninja Skills, we were going to do Samurai Skills, which has everything in it. It's still there. So once I know, or something like Samurai Skills, you know, whatever title we pick, but basically once I know we're selling enough of Ninja Skills and they like the format, then the publisher will say, what do you want to do next, Anthony, in the Ninja Skills format? And I'll say, this one, and we'll do some gumpo or this, and we'll go through it all. So it just needs to sell more. Uh, the crossbow, okay, Sean's asking the crossbow. Have you ever watched the Urban Ninja videos on YouTube? It's just a guy fooling around in public. Yeah, I thought it was quite funny, actually. It was good fun. I don't mind the stereotypical image, but, you know. Lunch punch is the basic long-range technique. So hold on. The cro let's go back to, I've got to the bottom, so Scott's saying the crossbow, oh damn, <laughs> I just got to the bottom and Scott's went up, okay, Scott's answering the crossbow, um, 
The Launch Punch is the basic longest range statement from Fence adopted by Marquess of Queensbury. So maybe it was the Lunch Punch was taken from there. Thoughts on Japan so called Last Ninja, the old guy from Teeth Like a Vampire. Ah, Kawakami. I picked a dinner with Kawakami, Teeth Like a Vampire. He's a very nice man. I have one single, single rule for all ninja claimants. It to claim. When you're going to put a claim in, give me some proof. If you claim something, prove it. Okay, right. No problem. Until you can prove it, it's just a claim. So I chat to him. I have dinner with him. And I know, let's, let's be honest, he actually is more focusing on ninja research from documents from across the board. So I actually quite like that. And he turned around and said he's going to do, you know, research. He's going to focus on historical research with me at university. You can't really beat that, can you? He's actually just come out and said, let's just go in the history direction. All the other claimants have not. They back up to uh, Togakure. They're doing the other stuff. Of all the people who claim to be the last ninja, Kawakami is the only one who actually said, right, let's put my stuff to the side and let's look at what the scrolls say and then leave that claim there because I can't prove it. So let's do some actual positive things. So I can't fault the man. I cannot fault him for that. Um, in your opinion, how similar different were Japanese battle strategy um, tactics documented Chinese ones since? <sighs> that is a bloody good question. Les Con would be all over that one, and probably Scott would know more than me. So Sengoku studies will probably come with that. Now, the Japanese did use the formations of ancient China, the ain't formations. Um, but the question is then, and they did, and people say the Japanese didn't use these formations. They did, but you start in a formation and then it gets messy. Now, how the Chinese did it, did they start and it gets messy or did they have more control? But we know they're using gongs, sh uh, shells, trumpets, drums to move, taken from the Chinese. We know they're using Chinese formations, but how, how quickly that breaks down into skirmishing and melee and everything i've no idea you know could they be actually recalling them with conch shells and people are coming back or the japanese it seems that the japanese are just like quick quick i've got ed run away and formation breaks down and everybody's just scrapping at the end but you at least try and get uh, you know your position best um right when did you start to become so fascinated about japanese history when i was born I get this question all the time. I have no idea. I've told the, I went to the, I've told this story a million, million times. And you've all heard it. Went to the shop with my grandfather. He said, do you want the army ones? Or do you want, it was somebody, I think it was army or cowboys. Or do you want the ninjas? And I looked at him like he was just stupid. I was like, of course I want the ninjas, you idiot. And I was only like, fine. <laughs> so always at ninja films, dressing as ninja. I used to run around the house as a ninja. As I got older, we used to, me and a friend used to like, like 12, 13, do tag games of ninjutsu at the back. Then we got to 15 16 we started going out to different places public parks at night and like creeping around and all that and then I, by 24 i was in japan studying with ninjas i've never not loved ninjas <laughs> the end um have you figured out a set uh hold on uh okay right most of the ninja movies showed okinawan weapons yeah they did didn't they ah george there's our george you're a good man our george yes they did there and the sai and the nunchucker nunchuku and all that rubbish have you fi figured out a way to set up PayPal or something since all hours? That, why are you not following me, buddy? You know full well my donations are in December. I don't. I refuse to take donations until December, so save up for December for me. I just don't agree with it. I don't do Patreon, and I don't do that. So in December, I ask for everyone, the sort of like kindness of humankind, to come forward and say, Anthony, there's some money to help with the year, and I'm going to tell you about what. I somebody remind me to tell you what I've just bought with my donations this year, So and I got it the other day. So somebody remind me after I go. Favourite dessert, pavlova by a long shot. Pavlova mint in england we saw oh, a sunday but actually in england we say knickerbocker glory but now we've gone all american but when i grew up you had a knickerbocker glory <laughs> which is one of the best how do you spell nick somebody spell knickerbocker glory ridiculous it's a ridiculous word is it german it sounds it like so um do you think you can visit some of the ninja villages in the future when you go by the japan's I've, been, I've, I've, I've visited them all, all my video, all my Japan. I, I always banged up my videos to Japan. Ninja villages, there aren't any ninja villages. There are Iga and Koka, the villages of today, which used to have ninja in them. But then, you know, I've done a million videos there. And there's the fun ninja village, which is the worst education you'll ever get. And they, they've got a ton of scrolls. And they're just locked up behind glass cabinets and never used annoyingly. But most of them are copies of the Bantans, you guy. Um, yeah. 
Cheers, George. But basically, donations at the end of the year, guys. Um, some people do donate every month to me, but I prefer it at the end of the year. But let's be honest, I, I will always spend the money on what I need, and I will tell you about that in a bit. Do you think you can visit? Oh, I've done that one. What's your favourite Sengoku era battle? Do you know, I actually don't know that much about battles. That summer, I, I'll tell you where this came from. I remember uh, I was doing this documentary, and I think I, I think I told you last time, I was doing a documentary, and this guy was going on about this bit of armour, that bit of armour, and I thought, what the bloody hell am I doing? I'm so out of my depth. And it was like, they were just talking armour, this, this, that, this man. I have no idea what people are talking about when they start talking about Japanese history. It goes right over my head. But then... They, they filmed the next day we were filming and he went to sh hit someone and he hit him across the breastplate on a horse. And I was like, you don't have a clue what samurai did. So I don't focus on the battles, the dates, the names. You just ask me dates. I have no idea. I've got a vague idea, but uh, I leave that to people like Scott. Scott knows these things. Nick knows these things. My question is what's the meat and bones? What did, when in that battle, forget the date in that battle, the samurai chain, uh, reins are made of chains how do you get through the chains how are you gripping someone how do you take a head off that's what i'm interested in i personally i'm like oh which battle that's great but i don't remember the information i'm like oh cool but it's just you know i'm i'm, I'm zooming in i did my training through archaeology so i like to zoom in to the sort of nitty-gritty of it all not the overall history of it all uh, okay right um what chinese headhunters like the japanese uh, Actually, you know, does anybody know about Chinese head? Where's the bloody? I told Les Con I was going to be on, and he's not here. So um, Chinese head hunting. Yes, John Hater the other day and Les Con sent me how they had a head inspection in China, almost identical to the samurai, almost identical. So yes, they were taking heads, and they still do to this day, as far as I'm aware. I was actually looking at the rape of Nanking the other day, and the heads on that were like Jesus. Like, if you want to lose your dinner, look up rape of nanking um oh yeah don't worry about spelling i can't spell did the sound show train on obstacle courses now you might be right we don't know but you might be right because uh there's one report where a ninja fell from a climbing frame type thing and hurt his back and retired so they must have had some form of climbing yeah yeah they must have had something um would the Koreans be able to defend themselves against Japan in a samurai invasion if Hideyoshi did not die, presumably? Right, okay. Now, where's Japan at war? Basically, I think they steamed up too fast. If you're going to go, what does what do other people think? When you invaded Korea, they went right up to the top. I don't know why they were trying to go up and like lose their connection lines. They separated. They, they were cut off by the Navy. And then all of a sudden, they start falling back. Seems like a really stupid thing to me. So where is Stefan from uh, Japan at war or... Uh, let's have a look at Scott from Second Pierce's. Why did they race up to the top? In my opinion, they should have stayed at the tip and moved out, been nice to the population, refortify, and the Chinese wouldn't have raced down then. They would have been like, oh, we'll deal with that later because they had to race down because they were just coming through. And if they only because I think they were threatening the Chinese. So the Chinese sort of went, yeah, let's help Korea. But otherwise, I think they were occupied somewhere else. So actually, right. Uh, hold on. And the samurai did not have to return to Japan due to a political clue. And I think they would have still lost because they just did it a bit naff, didn't they? They, they, they massacred them at first, and then the Chinese just came down outnumbered and thing. Uh, okay. Uh, where were the historical Iga and Koka clans actually ninja? Yes, they were ninja. Yes, but it depends how you define the word ninja. They were samurai and warriors, Ashigaru. There's farmers there, but they were the same as everybody else in Japan. And some of them a high proportion of the samurai and military men were trained in the arts of shinobi no jutsu and they were sent out across we have plenty of documentation to say that it would be ridiculous to say that's not true it would be a conspiracy theory or the greatest sort of like made up thing in there. i don't know how they would have done it yes they went around as shinobi and considered the best but not the only ones it, the amount of documentation for that alone is ridiculous um okay do you have some of the shinobi scrolls that you Acquired when you were in Japan. Uh, no, you cannot purchase copies. They uh, basically, I'm going to do Natoru first, then I'm going to move on to back to translating Ninja Scrolls. But I want to get on the the Natoru done. Uh, so Gungaku is out there because we know about Ninjutsu now. We've got a basic idea. But yes, also look out for Alex from Taishiru. There'll be some possible scrolls there. But no, I would never sell copies of my scrolls. I will give them away for free when we've published them. I will always give my scrolls away for free, but they have to be published first. So, um, yes, and I 
and I'll or I'll upload them as print on demand books. I want the scrolls to be out there in the public eye, but I've got to use them first. And to use the ninja scrolls, I have to finish Natoya first. So it was quite a few years away. But we got that the, to be honest, they're all very similar now. There's nothing really new coming out, not much. Um Okay, Scott's uh, explaining some of what's your favorite fictional ninja? Um Jubei from no um is it jubei from the ninja scroll from ninja scroll oh yes jubei i grew up i was 15 when that got released i was well happy um their goal was china not korea yes correct but uh oh sorry that's what you're saying jay yeah but to me if your goal's china and you're steaming up there and you're losing your your baggage train and you're not projecting they were burning stuff so you're steaming up to china but you've got no footing or background invade first make us make a base then invade but they just invaded and rushed up and i know you could say well china sort of got gonna get ready but they're gonna get ready anyway so just make a stronghold you need a foothold in war you need a foothold in that country people like around britain they took the germans to the channel islands because you need a foothold if you don't have it then you're pretty much screwed um okay Okay, yeah, Scott, it's a really tough thing to answer, isn't it? Um, other powers, I, hopefully I've not missed anybody's, I've just posted it again. Other powers didn't use gas because they were worried about their opponents retaliating with gas. The Japanese knew the Chinese didn't have gas. Okay, I'm not sure why that's too. Hi, uh, oh, it's uh, Scorp uh, the one of the hardest ones I can pronounce, but yes, he's he's good lad. Him. Uh, he follows me on, I assume it's a he. He follows me on um, TikTok. If you're welcome, and follow me on TikTok under the Modern Samurai. Japanese should have secured gain from right. Okay, yeah. I. What do people think? Should they have done it? Should they have created a foothold or just gone up? Which was the right move? It is debatable, isn't it? Foothold first and then move on. Because I think his overall plan was India, wasn't it? He? he wanted to be at the center of India. I think take over where I think. Or it was China, then India, and he's like going to take over the world, doesn't he? I'm not quite sure. If you like Ninja, do you like? No, I hate the turtles. The turtles are only good for one thing, and that is Usagi Yojimbo, which is one of the best characters ever. But no, I'm not a fan of the Ninja Turtles. It was silly. Uh, it was the, right. So Batman turned silly. I love Batman. Um, not Batman O'Brien from uh, Northern Ireland who hates my guts and puts websites so I'm not that Batman or is it Bateman or Batman or whatever he is uh, no I love Batman because it's gothic it's shadowy it's vampiric it's creeper in the dark ninjas are exactly the same and all that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was totally like the most bright it's like Transformers Transformers is stupid because it's just robots on summer holiday with roller skates they roller skate around buildings and on summer holiday it may as well be a chick flick if you like Transformers you're into girl films basically I actually loads i actually watch loads of chick flicks to be honest and you know when i started watching comedies and chick flicks because i do that much about like decapitation death i've looked bit recently i've been on the discord with scott talking about sort of like pol pot and i've been researching pol pot and saddam hussein and you're going through videos and you're like by the end of the day i used to be into like lord of the rings and all that and like you know uh, dungeons and dragons and all that. and now i just like oh give me a chick flick give me give me something nice because i'm otherwise i'll probably go, go out as that killing people do you know what i mean right um hold on by the time you get the book of sandwich Series published it will be a massive jewelry no, I'm going to do my PhD one day, but I don't have time. It's not about doing it or not doing it. I don't have time. <laughs> I just don't have time. I'm doing that much. I'd need to take three years out of YouTube, um, publishing, and all that, and it's not there yet. And then I'd do a doctorate on – my PhD doctorate would be on the history of espionage in Japan. I would totally do that. I would love that. So maybe when I'm, I'm 42 now, I think, 42. Maybe when I'm 50, 55, I'll do my PhD, finish on my 60th birthday. So I'm like, whoa, I'm – Right, it's just gone silly. Hold on. Um, okay, World War Two gas. Oh yeah, yeah, the brutal stuff out in there in World War Two. Uh, doing great, Anthony. You are responsible responding to everyone. Thank you. Yeah, person. I, I don't. I'm one of you guys. Don't forget, I can't stand people who are like they get up a bit and they're like I'm mint and they don't talk to people. Now I can't talk to everyone. That's why I started doing these lives. So I was like, should I? Should I not? It's a bit of a you know. I'm not sure because a lot of what I need, I need to research. I need to go check it. It's not like I've got it all in my mind. I can generally answer most questions, but for serious questions, I've got to do a lot of research and time and it takes a lot of time. So, but, uh, so I thought should or should not, but at the end of the day, 
I was just someone in the Bujinkan Dojo who was in the Hombu looking at Hatsumi, looking around going, and I still like their martial arts. I'm not going to say I don't. I've never dissed their martial arts. Not once. I don't. I don't attack anybody's martial art. I will say if I think something's not effective or is not original, like Aikido is not original, but whether it's effective or not is up to you. Uh, I'm not going to say um, BJJ is not effective. It's clearly effective, but you wouldn't want to get on the floor if somebody was a group of lads there, you know, a group of lads around you with like hobnail boots and you're like, just let me get on the floor, boys. You know what I mean? Nobody ever does that in a fight. So I think it's wonderful, but it's certain situations or it's not historical. But beyond that, I was like looking around, I went, the history doesn't match here. This does not match. So off I went. And I was just one of you guys. And I just decided to just push it and force it. So I try and give everyone as much attention as I can beyond like losing my life, which I did on Facebook. Right. I don't know. Fuma Kataro. I'm assuming yes, but I'm assuming there's legend connected to him because he's massive. He's got teeth and he's like a demon. But I'm assuming he's a real guy. It's like the Robin Hood, probably a real guy, added legends later on. But has anybody got any evidence that it was actually real? Um, Ninja Turtles, yeah, yeah, no, bloody hate them. Uh, oh, right, sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to just let me read, catch up a minute. Um, okay, right, love, I hate them, George. You, Usagi Ojimbo, yeah, Charlie was primary goal, but Sin did not talk about, uh, certainly did talk about India. Okay, so Scott's telling us that he was talking about India, so yeah, he wanted to go all the way to the center of the world, if I remember rightly, and I would not do that without a supply chain. I think that's the most ridiculous. But then again, I wasn't there, and it's very good in hindsight to say, and neither was Hideyoshi there. So you might have thought it was secure, and apparently he was getting people back telling him it's secure, and it wasn't. He's keep going. So nobody remembers the turtles. Uh, no, I don't remember the hamsters one. A kendo game, I have no idea. Yeah, the internet. I have no idea. I'm sorry. That's, I have no idea where to get kendo gear. Uh, I want older. Pol Pot is basically as evil as they come. Yeah, and I'm discussing this on Discord, and I'm getting like a bit of pushback, actually. I think I don't think Oda Nobunaga, and I don't think as much Tokugawa Iyasu were the nicest of people. I always find this weird. It's like people say, oh, it was a civil war. Yeah, but it didn't have to be a war. You know, nobody was oppressed, but they wanted power. There's a difference when you're being oppressed and you freedom fight in a civil war. But when you're not oppressed... And somebody just take like Oda Nobunaga was just like, so the people in the north, Oda Nobunaga was not there going, you know what? I'm going to free those people in the north from that dictator. No, he just went, I'm having Japan. And anybody gets in my way, they're dead. That is a tyrant. That is a despot. That is the same as Pol Pot. What's your favourite Shinobi mission from history and where can you find it to read? Do you know what? There, you don't find them. We don't find much about Shinobi history, missions, and that's one of the things. They're not there. You only find documentation about how to perform certain things. You very rare find anything, and most of them are actually made up. Uh, so, yeah, Scott's saying the same thing. Slow down, got a foothold in career, so Scott's on the same sort of thing. Uh, the Great Goat, what's your favourite Shinobi mission? All oh, right, okay. Um, Din Shows were basically a martial artist. They've become more ninja in some of the recent series. Once upon a time, apparently, somebody from the Ninja series comics was looking at my work, but they never got in touch. Um, right, uh, George, if you want the Discord channel, go to the Shogunats website, uh, the Shogunats YouTube channel, click about, and it's literally there. It says Discord right there. Uh, what punishment did Captured Shinobi receive? What's the name, guy? I can't remember the name of the guy who's inverted crucifix inversion, or maybe not inverted. There are different versions. And he's killed with all the stuff inside of it, and people use him as a very a trophy on a flag. Some famous people use him. I can't remember his name. Come on, Scott. What's his name? And uh, he is probably the, the most famous. Um, hold on. P sorry, punishment. Yeah, I think he had his nose chopped off. I think he was stabbed. Uh, basically, torture and death. Or, if you believe the Bantan Juka, which I do, probably not tortured and asked to be a double agent, in which case you have to give sealed, written sealed, provide a, a wife, which one of the Shinobi tricks is produce a fake wife. Uh, there's actually something in Natoru called, like, the art of the fake uh, woman, if you like, and it's not. It's not the same as the Bantan Shukai. I thought it was, and I was wrong. It's not. So in the Bantan Shukai, it says, have a woman and a son that you don't care about. Just make have another wife paid for by the Lord. And when you need to secure, you give them as hostages so you can work through the other side. And when you betray them, uh, they're killed. That's how brutal it was. So imagine going out with someone 
having sex with them, having children with them, celebrating and everything. And the only reason you're doing it is so you can murder them or have them murdered in the end so you can plant a lie in the enemy. That is what it means to be a shinobi. Sometimes I push my girlfriend there, to be fair. Sometimes. Uh, okay. Is the band station actually corroborated? Uh, it depends what you mean by corroborated. Yes, it is. Yeah, absolutely. So there are about 300 Ninja Scrolls, and you can tell the ones that are actually taken from the Bansen Shukai, yeah? So they're taken from the Bansen Shukai. But if the information in the Bansen Shukai is the best because it's the most and it's the most detailed. Um, and when you go to see Chikamatsu, who has no connection with Fujibayashi, when you see Isui Sensei, when you see the other ones, the all the other scrolls I've got that have no connection to, I, to Iga or to the Bansen Shukai, why would they be saying exactly the same thing? Almost kanji that are similar, skills that are almost the same. It, yes, it's corroborated by about 300 other sources saying pretty much the same thing um, about how to do ninjutsu. So, yeah, really it is. So, and let's be honest, Hatsumi and all them love the Bansen Shukai. They kept flashing the Bansen Shukai out, except when we brought it out. And then suddenly uh, the Takamatsu them like, we hate the Bansen Shukai. Like, well, Hatsumi doesn't, so I don't know why you do. So, come on, let's be honest. You just hate it because we brought it out. Um, I imagine death a lot of the time. Yeah, obviously it might try to extract some info. Being captured as a ninja could uh, not have been good. You could have made some money out of it, though. That's the one thing, actually. They made money out of double agents, being double agents. So you're all right, actually. Will you do this at a certain time so I can schedule it in? I will try, but I'm only going to do it about once a month because we'll, we'll end up getting bored. So we don't want to sort of make it a boring thing. We want to try and get some new conversations going but i do about once a month so i'm just trying this so i can run my computer now i've actually started a playlist so go follow my i don't know if you can follow playlist but there is a playlist um what's your thoughts on ninjas using guns in fact if you watched my video the other day which i hope you did and kept up to date um they use loads of guns they absolutely love guns and if you're into guns you're into ninja and if you're into ninja you're into guns basically yuji yamada from mia university is clearly showing that the ninja were using tons of guns. And actually, one of their specialities was gunnery. And I, unfortunately, have probably played that down. It was always been there in the history, but I've probably played that down by mistake. Best samurai film, best ninja film. Best ninja film, we've already done this, Sakura Killers or um, <sighs> Laura Biden Citizen with Gerard Butler. Or 300, because the Spartans are just harder than ninjas, let's be honest. They were mint. Um yeah, I lost my life on Facebook. I started Facebook at about the age of 30, and I absolutely spent 10 years trying to answer everyone's questions like this every day, six hours a day, and I lost 10 years of my life, and I wish I could get it back. It was ridiculous. Chris Daniels is here. My my uh, trusted scout is our Chris. He trusts it. I, right, so donations, guys. I got donations, and I got about overall about £4,000, which is about $5,500, something like that, in donations overall, because I was given a massive sum off one person. Like, 35% of that came from one person. And last night, uh, not last night, about three nights ago, I was searching on the auctions of scroll auctions, and we got another Ninja Scroll. It's... Um, not eager, not coca. It's another school. Oh, I forgot what it is. I can possibly look up. Let me get on top of the answers and I can probably get on my iPad. And uh, it's being shipped to me from Japan at the moment. It costs about £600 in total. And it's more about signal, secret signals, fire signals, that sort of stuff. I think it's got arrow signals as well, but it's from a different school, a school that still exists today. So we could put the ninjutsu back into their curriculum. Let's let's hope it's it's more signaling and torches, but we could put it back. So yes, I've been getting that, uh, Chris. And actually, I will talk about come back to me, Chris, on that. Actually, I'll talk about. I don't think Aikido work in a fight, but I sure saved me when I was. Yeah, I think I've seen some Aikido guys who are absolutely you'd grip them and they'd be like lock down. But I've seen other people and you're like that is not going to work. So Aikido itself is brilliant, but can you make it work? Um, one thing, everyone talks about Hideyoshi's plan, but Nobunaga also talked about taking in it. Nice. So I reckon Nobunaga would have actually probably done a better job. Let's be honest. I think he would have done. Uh, right, Ninja Assassinations. I've done this before. There are no credible sources for Ninja Assassinations, but I've said this before. Ninja are not assassins. I, this, this question goes round and round. Did Ninja assassinate anyone probably do the ninja manuals say that they're assassins it says they can assassinate people are they trained assassins from birth like the um assassins of the middle east no they are not 
is one sub minor minor small little faction of the shinobi probably creeping in assassinate people type people possibly possibly but why on earth would they use the word shinobi for it you just somebody would be assassinated and nobody's going to go oh shinobi and write it down it would be somebody crept in and killed them so any any japanese any of assassination attempt in japan go and look at it and if it's somebody crept in and killed someone in their bed that's ninjutsu if it's somebody from the enemy went in and became a member of the retinue and after years of building up trust murdered them that's ninjutsu if it's someone who had the political advantage and they wanted to go up the ladder in the clan and they had the time to kill someone i says it's not ninjutsu you've got to be on the enemy's side and you've got to weed your way in and kill someone then it's ninjutsu but you're not going to say a ninja killed us you'd be like somebody was assassinated by such and such you wouldn't like um like i don't know you wouldn't say mick jagger brought out uh you wouldn't say a musician brought out a a record you'd say mick jagger brought out a record Do you know what i mean it's obviously still mick jagger and it's obviously rolling stones and all that but so somebody's assassinated someone you'd be like oh that's some we love the word shinobi but they didn't they were not like oh shinobi they were just like that guy assassinated that guy he used shinobi no jutsu most likely but you don't you don't get that um okay right i'm probably way behind is there any right hold on um bamboo torture uh, not bamboo, but water torture and fire torture. It says, don't use fire torture, use water torture. Oh, sugar, guys, there's a ton of messages. Right, let me just, I'm getting a, hold on. Right. Kill an enemy, you're only up to one, so flipping energy and you're up to two. Okay. Um, I think I recall what you're talking about with the guy up there, upside down. Yes, yeah, that's, I cannot remember his name. Upside down, on a flag, someone, what, sued somebody. Any recommendation for a book about the history of the Yagyu clan? No, I'd like one too. I've been to Yagyu village. And I tell you what, I went to Yagyu village thinking, yes, I'm going to go look at the Yagyu swordsman. I'm going to go talk to the Yak. No, it's all gone. There's a Zen dojo there and a Kendo dojo there. And there's nothing. I spent two of the most boring days in Yagyu. Don't get me wrong, it was beautiful. After looking at all the buildings, which took about three or four hours, I had like a lot of time to kill. But I'd recommend going, but don't spend a lot of time there. Cherry blossoms are gorgeous there. Um, right, anyway, uh, so hold on. Right. So Yagyu, I think that it would be great to research a document. Yeah, but Yagyu have nothing to do with Shinobi as far as we're aware. So Yagyu are good, but why would they be good? Because they're swordsmanship. Yagyu swordsmanship would be excellent. We have historical records describe the life and death of Hattori Hanzo. Do you know what? There's hardly anything about Hattori Hanzo. And most of it, what you hear, I'm like, where do you get that information from? Hattori Hanzo apparently is the one that led Is Isui... Is uh, uh, Tokugawa Ieyasu across Iga, but I, can't, I need to find that document. Some people say he did, some people say he didn't. Well, I say he, he might not have done, and I don't think nobody says he didn't, but I'm saying, well, where's the documentation for this? What do we know about Hattori Anzo? We know next to nothing. We know the koku he was on. We know where his helmet and spear are. We've got that, but we, we've know very little beyond he was known as Oni. He had a certain koku. He's from Iga. He came up through Makawa. And he's one of the 24 generals. And they he tried to kill um, Tokugawa's oldest son, be, beheading him in seppuku, but cried. So Hattori Hanzo was bursting into tears because he couldn't do it. So Genzo, the head taker, I think, who took him instead. So it was a bit like, and then I think Tokugawa had to go in. It was all a bit, we don't know that much. There was serious money being a double agent, possibly. There's a whole lot of problems. Yeah, so double agents, you get paid tons. And that's the point of, um, Sun Tzu says it, pay your agents well. Or bribe them. A lot of people make the argument that Aquabus is easy to use, weapon because the principal thoughts. Um, I think it's easy to use. I've shot a musket, you know, roughly the same, basically a barrel with a wooden stock and a fiery bit here and a bullet in it. I fired them; they're dead easy to fire. Once you learn how to do it, it takes you twenty minutes to learn how to use it, and probably a day to learn how to shoot it. It was not difficult, and you've only got to aim in a certain direction. And they're not. Everybody says, oh, the bullets go everywhere. No, they don't. They're pretty accurate. They're, they're not sniper bullet accurate, but between me and the guy over there, he's dead. Or he's, I'm getting him in the leg. They're not that. They're pretty easy, actually. Um, okay. Grassy Anthony. I've got to say that what I've said before, humble man, thank you very much. Labour happiness proof. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh... I've got, I've got my glasses on, guys. Uh, right, thank you very much with it. The man with all the arms. 
I think you mean about someone who was poorly trained with a match log, potential damage to himself. Nah, potential damage to himself, he'd be dead within the war anyway. Anybody, nobody's going to damage themselves in a the match log. And, you know, how many of them, how many people shoot themselves in the face with a match log? Not many. You know what I mean? So I know most of your troops would be there. You can find arguments about range and the damage inflict, etc. Um, hold on. Uh, but it's ease of use compared to bows. I think a bow is much harder to use. I've shot a Japanese archery. I've got one, but Andrew's nicked it off me. Um, but the gun was much, much, much easier. That's why it took over as well and more effective. So otherwise, we'd still be using bows. Um, I'm doing research projects on my Ryuha. What's a good place to look for ancient scrolls? Man? Right, tell me your Ryuha and I'll tell you um, where, what, which one. Have you ever had an encounter with Richard Vendong? No, I would like, I'm, you know what? It'd be nice is if those, the bougie can just grew up and sat down and came and saw me and, and we did some lectures together. What, why does Stephen Hayes not get me over to Quest Centre and we just have a right laugh? Everyone has a beer and we're all like, you believe your ninja stuff. I believe what I've researched. Let's grow, be grown up about it, shall we? You don't believe my master. Now we must fight to the death. It's not a 1980s film. So they do me head in the Bujin can. Just be nice to people and people will be nice back to you. Well, not always. Um, would you write a fictional novel about uh, Shinobi incorporating all the practice? I've tried, actually. I spoke to uh, my publisher as an imprint and they were like, I only wanted to do a small one. I didn't want to spend a lot of time on a chunky novel. So I sent them, they said the writing was fine. So your writing's fine, you just need an editor, Anthony. But actually, I only want to do 30,000 words. I said, you need about 100,000 words for a novel to be profitable. So it isn't a case of whether I could do it. It isn't a case of whether they wanted to do it. They want me to do it. But I have to write 100,000 words, and I have no idea how it sell. It could be a total waste of a year's work. No idea. So let's. I, I, it's on the back burner. Oda Nobunaga was shot twice by a ninja carrying two acres. No. So um, I think the Oda Nobunaga double shot. Somebody answer me this for me. Who shot Oda Nobunaga? And it was two shots. As far as I'm concerned, that's the two shot rifle straight out of the Bansen Shukai. Straight out of the Bansen Shukai. How to shoot twice with the same rifle. Um, and right, just stop writing questions for a minute, guys. Let me catch up so I can just stop writing for a minute so I can catch up and then we can crack on a minute. Um, I have a book that came out in the 80s and should be putting one foot where on the animal footprints backwards. You, yes, I've seen it. Yes. Um, oh, Tiger Scrolls. Sensei J from the Tiger Scrolls of Coke and Ninja. Yes, putting footwear on backwards is a ninja thing. I've seen that. Uh, not animal footprints, but uh, sandals backwards and things like that. I've seen that in one. I think it's Mubi Oshiryu. I think. Would there have been poison or something to assassinate just a regular knife or tanto? Uh, no, I don't think you don't need poison on a knife. Just knife someone in the throat. Honestly, knives are really dangerous. I used to believe, so let's be fair, I used to do all the Bujikan knife stuff and this, that, and the other. Some of it's quite good, but most of it will get you killed. And um, I, since I left the Bujikan, I've, re I've rethought through my martial arts and thought, what does work, what doesn't. So I don't disagree with the Bujikan. I like their martial arts, but the problem is I had to strip it down. It took me about 10 years to strip away all the crap, and knife fighting is bloody horrible. I've uh, only ever been faced with one guy with a knife on a back, but he backed down. He's soft, but he did know he come up when I was younger, a knife and a bat with his mates. And somebody jumped in and said, You can have your knife and your bat, um, but you can't have your mates. And you know what he said? He said, That's Anthony Cummins, he will batter me. So, because I just battered this lad, I was only about 15, 16, and I battered this lad till he prayed to he was like out on the floor, Please stop, please stop. Because he started on me, I've never started a fight in my life, and he was uh, just kept starting, kept pushing. So I battered him. Then everybody wanted to try and batter me to sort of like get the reputation. And you know, you do when you're a kid. And uh, he had a knife and a bat and still back down. It's the only time I've ever faced a knife. But uh, beyond that, they will kill you. You don't need it. It's horrible. Um, so Scott's answering some people for me. Thank you very much, Scott. Maximus armor and thick clothing can render them ineffective too. They are really dangerous. Poison would have to get, yeah, poison blade. I imagine what would you do? You'd be like, I'm running in a fight and I put the blood on it because otherwise it'd be in there. And if you cut yourself, you'd be buggered. So I've never, I think it's more of a movie thing, poison on blades. I know poison on darts works, but unless you suck it in back, oh, <laughs> you know, I'll try to get this. Um, did go Zay I think, yeah, um, go Zay Zayemon. Yes, he did, I think. And I think so. Somebody correct me if not. But uh, it's like, again, Robin Hood. Somebody existed. He was a thief. And uh, he nicked some stuff. And then they boiled him alive for it. 
because the Japanese were wonderful people. You know, we're going about everybody has samurai love, and you're like, yeah, they boil people alive in oil. Is anybody all right with that? If you actually went back to Japan now, you would never, ever want to be there. Imagine if the police came around and boiled you in oil. That's what Japan was like. Um, okay. Oh, uh, right. Two Hattori Hanzo based on two samurai that named Daemon Hanzo. Yeah, yeah, they're different people. Uh, the Hanzo is so Hattori is a family name. Hanzo is like a name given to the head of the family of the Hattori clan, and it's also it's just a name in Japan. Uh, thanks for the interesting chat. Once before I'm off, Miyamoto Masashi is an important figure. Yes, Miyamoto Masashi, his Book of Five Rings. I think without the Book of Five Rings, we would really believe what Japanese soldiership is like today, and it's not like that at all. So, as much as I love Koryu. And as much as I think it is one of the greatest things on the planet that we still have existent sword schools from the 1500s, which I think is one of the most amazing things, they've gone through change. We need to rethink about Koryu. But yes, with Musashi's stuff, with some real thought, with some cooperation from the old schools, with some sort of looking at what they did, I think we could get back to how Samurai fought. So I think he's he's a very important Musashi because he, he sort of puts that stop on. He sort of says, right, Take a grip and fight. And if you've ever, if you sort of had fights in your life and you read Masashi's stuff, it's just like no fancy stances, no fancy guards, no fancy moves. Do this, attack their eyes, attack their throat. And you're like, he knows how to fight. That's how you fight in real life. So definitely. Uh, okay, uh, Scott's answer for me. We'll be uploading this to your channel. I think, yeah, automatically uploads it. I'm on my lunch break and have to get back to work. Oh, no commitment, Buddha. No commitment. Great, good chat. I'm eager to get back up here. Okay, mate. No problem, Buddha. Enjoy. And uh, I'll see you next time. Were Coca and Eva rival rivals? This comes from comics. Coca and Eva, the families in Eva were rivals with each other. And the families in Coca were rivals. And they, the families in Eva and Coca were rivals. But then they, imagine in the old world, in the old Greek world, like this clan is now connected to that clan and they're happy and their daughter marries them. It was all into marriage. So it's like the, the McGlowries and all that tombstone, you know, the cowboys with Doc Holiday. I'm your Huckleberry. That's exactly what's going on there. It's like we're having a fight with them. Oh, he's married them, so we're not having a fight with them anymore. And we're having that. And even Fujibayashi from the Bantan and Shukai says all the clans used to fight each other, and that's why they're good at ninjutsu. It was an enclosed area where everybody was focused in. They couldn't really escape that enclosed area, so they got good at ninjutsu, and they still scrapped each other because it's clans. Clans have always hated each other for some reason humans love to hate each other and it's no different in eager and coca did Ian go to war who were the ninja enemies who were the ninja enemies what uh yeah they did go to war but there was no ninja enemies they were <coughs> they were all samurai uh what martial arts are genuine and historical right it depends what you mean here so i'd like to make the difference of traditional versus historical there are lots of traditional martial arts martial arts have gone back and have have a proper lineage and all that historical meaning that's ex exactly how they fought very few i'm i'm struggling to find one that i think yeah he would win in a sword fight most of them are a bit more artistic zen based they've gone through changes so actually that's one of the things i'd like to address but you need the help of everyone really so the problem with koryu is is everybody hates everybody else's Koryu, which I've never understood. And then they hate anybody who says anything bad about Koryu. And even two strands of the same Koryu hate each other. And you're like, humans just hate each other. You give someone a blue T-shirt, you give someone a red T-shirt, they'll hate each other. This has been proven. I was listening to um, a psychology thing the other day. And uh, there's the famous there's the famous incident where somebody was given become a guard. Somebody was given a prisoner at random and they were locked away for five days. And in the end, I think the government had to come in and shut it down because people were literally abusing people. Humans hate humans. It's that simple. Bujigan hates Anthony Cummins. There you go. Um, uh, TCTC. Do you have any info from history on the application or acceptance process to be a shinobi who would apply and who couldn't? Mainly family based mainly family-based, but also if somebody was good, they'd bring them in, and it was about an oath. So you swore an oath, and we actually have those oaths still. Um, there's actually a family in Japan, I forgot his name, Watanabe has his great-grandfather's oath, which he swore to be a shinobi for a lord. So we actually have those types of oaths. Uh, George is answering for me. Let Anthony catch up to questions, brother. Yeah, yeah, let me catch up. We 
Were kids using jobber? Absolutely. And probably teenage girls for sex. Let's be honest, 13 year olds were being shagged and put into um, other people's houses without doubt, um, just so people could open doors. No, yeah, no problem. And again, some of them were used as hostages and killed. And there, Yuji Yamada spoke about this the other day. He said a 12 year old, an Igamono was 12, which makes him 11 in Japanese reckoning, in, in Western reckoning. So, yes, kids were there. Chinese poison blades and crossbow quills. I'd like, I'd love to see that. Where can you expect the next set of scrolls to come for, for Notori? Um, basically, the next set of scrolls, two of my translators. That's why no ninja stuff's coming up because I'm focusing on Natori Ryu. And basically, we're working on Suisen Yoho, uh, which is water. We're working on Gunshu Yoho, which is um, general military skills. And we're working on um the path of the lord but it depends on which translator gets first but i've slowed it down guys because i was burning my translators out i let yoshi have two well i didn't let she was like anthony i need two years off you know i need some time off she went away and chilled out that's why you've not seen yoshi for a while she was like i was like yoshi enjoy yourself relax so she's gone and done her own research she's gone to like flower show she's just chilled out and she did 10 years solid of working after hours every day she was near collapse so it was like We've just stopped with Yoshi, and now six months ago she started again. So she's now got the the energy to go again. Uh, was often boiled, yeah. Takeda Shingen often boiled criminals alive, though he did um, decrease the kinds of crime. And we always hear Takeda Shingen was a really nice man, and you're like he was dead nice to people, except those he boiled. You know what I mean? Did you, did you develop uh, resistance to poison? No, no, that's absolute fiction. I am going to say no. If as always. I always reserve the right to say I'll change my mind if I find historical documentation. But why? What would you do? Which poison would you do? You know, it's more like the Princess Bride that, which is a good film. Um, oh, sugar. Right. Um, okay. Um, sorry, I've just got a Anthony. What about Fuma Ninja? I've heard about Fuma Territory Castle. Yeah, we've spoken. Uh, you just missed in. I think um, we've just spoke about that. We he's more like a Robin Hood figure. He's real, but we don't know about anything about him. There's got no scrolls left behind. We just know he sort of existed. He was a thief, by the way, not a ninja. He was a thief who was given land rights, which makes him a samurai. So a thief becomes a samurai because he can do the job of ninjutsu. Think of that. So he's given land rights, which I need to check this, but by definition makes him a salaried samurai in the Hojo clan and which actually means a thief who used ninjutsu became a samurai. Unless somebody says the level he was given was not samurai status, I don't know, I'd have to check that, but that's what people are missing, those sort of points. What do you mean by ninjutsu? The arts of the shinobi. Shinobi no jutsu is the arts of the shinobi, like tactics. So espionage, hey Anthony, how are you? From where did your famous ninja train? From where did the famous ninja training come? So just jumping over a hemp plant. Uh, I don't know. I know the hemp plant one, but I don't know. The everything came from 1960 Japanese uh books, which are dubious at best. They're like 40% correct and 60% utter nonsense. Uh, I've been speaking to someone recently who was actually hanging around with Yumi Onawa, and Yumi Onawa said he was making this up, you know. I mean, he was actually a student of Yumi Onawa, and yeah, this is we just like it's just a fun sort of job. And then they sort of got money out of it and started taking it a bit more serious, I think. But no, I've never seen where the, the jumping one comes from, but they must have been jumping, there must have been some parkour X roof running ninjas without a doubt. That's it. The Stanford experiment. That's it. Scott was one of the students, the guards, prisoners. Yep. And there's two others. There's the Stanford experiment and two more. This is why I need Scott on these talks. You know, I'm going to have to message Scott next time. Tell him the time to make sure he's there because he can go away and do my thingy for me. I was literally listening to the day. I never remember dates and I never remember names. I'm useless at names and I'm useless at dates, but I remember the information very well. The information is stored there, but anything that's useless, like what date did it happen? Well, it doesn't help me at the minute. I can, and I, if I need to, I'll just go find it out. So I, I, I don't retain the dates and things because you don't really need them until you actually have to just look it up and you've got a book for that. Um, but yeah, thank you, Scott. Thank you. Masashi Two Sword Star reminds me of European Sword and Buckler. However, put a question out there. Why is it the Two Sword style? There's no air. There's very little evidence to say he fought with two swords beyond. He says practice with two swords and fight with two swords when you're against a gang. 99% of the time, Musashi is fighting with one sword. Everybody misses this. He says, use it to practice with so that you don't accidentally grab the other hand because it's heavy. He says, get the other sword out and practice so you can practice. And then you can't grab the other sword. And then he says, then all of the things are fighting with one sword. And then basically, if you're, if 
you're surrounded, you pull out two swords and don't let them go around you. There's and if you're somewhere short, get your short sword out. It doesn't say fight with two swords. I know the school name does not mean two swords. That is a, a mistake. Uh, all right, I was eating, so missed it. All right, thank you. Okay, right. Did ninja you're eating instead of listening to me? How bad? Did ninja have scouts and groups? Separation. Ninja are a subsection of scouts. Monomi is the word for scout. Omonomi is large groups of scouts. Chumonomi is small groups of scouts. Um, Omonomi, uh, sorry, Komonomi are smaller, a couple, maybe one or two going out. Shinobi no Mono are the ones who go behind. So Omonomi go all the way around. Chumonomi like do sort of little bits. Komonomi go close and Shinobi go beyond the enemy boundaries, sit down with the enemy and have breakfast. They are scouts. They're a subsection. So your question's excellent, but it's the reverse. Um, Oh, he has frozen at my end. Uh, have I frozen with anyone else, guys? How likely is it that some of the new... Oh. Hold on. Oh, hold on. As soon as I've gone. Yes, new Shinobi Scrolls were discovered. I bought one the other day. That came on the market. There's a new Shinobi Scroll. I bought it the other day. £600. Thank you very much. Yes, they will. Um, Totally. So hopefully I've not... Did the stream cut out? Oh, sugar, something's gone wrong. Um, I read in Masashi's book that his father used sword and scythe and he developed his two swords there. Yeah, uh, let, let's see. Where's the two swords from? You tell me where the two swords from. There's a couple of things. He does use two swords. Don't get me wrong, but not all the time. So why does everybody have Masashi with two swords? Doesn't doesn't work. I'm eating and listening. Yeah, bloody well. Stop going away. <laughs> Please don't stop YouTube in the next couple of years. I have some funds. And really want to input. Guys, I would love it if you guys inputted at the end of the year. Again, I only ask at the end of the year. It would be amazing. It helps me. I get to Japan. I get loads of scrolls. And then they'll come out eventually. At the minute, we're just working hard on Natoru because we need the foundation. The reason I've picked Natoru is because it's such a good foundation. It's all you need to know. And once we've finished Natoru, we're back to ninja stuff. So it might take about 10 years. And we're not going to do no ninja stuff between them. I will publish my own ninja books and bring out more stuff for you guys. But we need a context now. Ninja, it's the same thing. Five types of spy. Use this, do that. It's like, it's such a such a, a specialist subject that we know it. And that's what I'm saying when people say, have, have these uh, scrolls been co uh, corroborated? Well, yeah, they're all over Japan. There's tons of ninja scrolls out there. Well, more than the 300 core that you could say. But they're all in like Gunpo scrolls. Or like, here's our school's military skills. Two pages, Shinobi. It says the same bloody thing as the Bantam Shuka, but only two pages worth. So we'd just be doing the same thing over and over again. But we will get back to it for more detail. I believe some historical European masters say two swords is good again. Oh, oh. guys, the reason it's probably cutting out is because I have to... I wish it'd do this on my iPad. Um, See, so two swords, but it only makes sense. It's pretty, okay, sorry, I've not... So, yeah, the two swords thing, sorry. Sorry, I've not asked any questions here. I have you on as background and listening, but I'm getting deeply involved reading your book. Even listening. Yeah. Okay. Cool, mate. All good for me, George. Later, the people from Code Connects will follow. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, Japan's rugby team are modern day samurai. Um, the friendship oath of one dish. Ah, yeah. George is on it. Yeah. George is answering. Thank you, George. A new, new ninja book. I've got no ninja book coming out at the minute, but Alex, of Taishiryu is working on something at the minute and I'm helping him so it might be a self-published book in the next say so many months but we're working on it at the minute but for me ninja stuff it keeps getting on the back burner at the minute because most of what we need to know is out there and I need to make a bigger scope so but don't only think that ninja books have ninjutsu in them there's lots and lots of ninjutsu in other style stuff through so gungaku all that uh, it does not appear often out but it Existing in fencing, even in civilian life, it was not too good. Okay. Did Fumokotaro live? <laughs> How many times are we going to ask the Fumokotaro question? Um, somebody answer Nick Neto on the Fumokotaro question. We've, we've answered that about four times, Nick. So I try and answer everyone's questions, but we run out of space. Um, Anthony, been following you for a while. I was curious and tried to do my own research, but how often do you think Ashigarasama had to replace their swords? You, that is a bloody good question. That is a bloody good question. And I think this idea that samurai swords are expensive and only could only hardly afford them is utter nonsense. There was loads of swords in Japan. Farmers had swords. They had multiple swords. We know from records, they say, use this sword today, take your spare sword. So samurai, what most people don't realize is when samurai go to war, 
the servant who's next to them, the sandal bearer or someone else is carrying their spare sword. You don't carry your two swords. You give your spare sword to the guy who is your um, basically your, your servant. And you keep that. And he fights with that. You fight with this. But you're the main fight. You're a samurai. You kill. Your sword's bent. Your sword's broken. Get that back. Spare sword comes out. Off you go again. So actually, there are multiple swords. And then you've got more at home. This, like the we have multiple swords, they had multiple swords. This idea that they were dead expensive is just the same as a car. Brand new cars are expensive, brand new swords are expensive, but there's a second-hand market with loads of affordable swords. And you wouldn't want to be hit in the face with a machete, so even if the blade's not great quality, nobody wants to be hit in the face with it. I hate you when they say those swords are not great quality. Well, I'll tell you what, you stand there and let someone stab you in the eye with it. How good is the quality then? <laughs> Riles me up that question. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Not all the time. It's another one of those things that get over focused, romanticized. Right. I'm trying to catch up, guys, but I did say, can you pause for me? But obviously, nobody's pausing. You can see some kendo folks use two swords. Okay. Katori Shinsuri has two swords, technically, I believe. Yep. But uh, exactly. They don't have it all the time. So, this is what I'm saying about Masashi. He doesn't have it all the time. He has sometimes two swords, but not all the time. But no matter what you watch, Masashi has got two swords everywhere. Usually, the shorter weapon in European fence is one used to defend. Okay. I guess you, if you are training using katana, one hand you're like, okay, right, we're just you're just chatting. That's no problem. Okay, I'm just going to try and get past a bit. Sorry if I miss anybody's stuff. I was interested in hearing your opinion on Valley Warrior Arts. So, ex, um, oh, I don't remember. Is that me? I don't remember. Uh, I do remember Sogo Budgets. I remember the name, but pff, I've done that many interviews that I do not remember. Another theory is that he mentions Masashi fighting of villagers with a Bokutu Warp again. Yeah, he carves a wooden oar. Where's his other sword? Nobody does that. And he even says, I started using a wooden sword. He doesn't say I use a wooden pair of swords. I don't think. He's like, I use a wooden sword. He clearly is using one sword, Masashi. And if you anybody would take the time to read the book, he tells you why he calls it two swords, but nobody ever reads the book. <laughs> they always go, I own Masashi. You know, read it. He says it. Bit of gaming related question and probably quite silly. In Total War, Shogun 2, Tucker has his faction described as liking to field ninjas. Uh, Tokugawa Iyasu did use a lot of Igamono. He was famous for spying on his own people and using Igamono. So, yeah, he did use a lot of ninjas, did Tokugawa Iyasu. And I played Shogun Total War. It must have been about the year 2000, maybe. What year did to Shogun Total War come up? I'm pretty much caught up, guys. Hold on. I just froze, so I'll give me a minute. Right, Reiki. I live... In Reiki Village. So I live in a place called Cummins Cock. If you're ever in Wales, stop in, give me advance notice, and have a brew. I'll make you a scone sorted. But this is the Reiki Village. There are three, two or three Reiki masters here. And my girlfriend has started doing Reiki. And there's Reiki everywhere. Zero connection to ninjas. It was invented in 1900. And as much as I don't mind alternative medicine, I don't mind people doing wholesome things and all that. But Reiki, what nobody ever points out, which really makes me laugh, is Reiki is the same as Jesus Christ. People who say they can do Reiki say they can heal with touch, with, by, by touch. Jesus Christ did that. Do you know what I mean? That's a bit of a bold claim. What's your healing skill? Jesus Christ skill. Mm, resurrect. You know, it wasn't even just bring back the dead. It was like healed by touching. Okie dokie. So Reiki, not sure. Um, hold on. Oh, I've started losing it now. Hold on. Right. Reiki, the Koryu armed combat stars a more brutal attack seems more realistic. Uh, no, I don't agree with that. Koryu normally have less brutal and much more zen-esque. I very rarely see brutal. I wonder how much equipment could an Ashigaru loot after a battle. Uh, well, looting, they say food first. Remember Natoru Ryu says food first because you can't eat swords. Get food. And then, yeah, they, in fact, so put it this way, guys. The, if you read the Heike Monogatari, which I'm doing, I think it's in that one, they smash up battlefield swords there are that many swords in the battles in japan that they are breaking them and sticking them in the ground as caltrops there are that many bent and broken swords and bits and pieces and blades everywhere that they are just sticking them in the ground as traps this idea that the sword was pressure is absolute nonsense magical swords famous swords and by magical i mean spiritual swords religious swords brand new swords very expensive good quality swords famous swords but the average ashigaru has got a sword so they're not that they're not that much are they 
Um, right. Do you recommend a great place to buy a katana? At the minute, I'm actually talking with Cold Steel UK, and I'm they're talking about not sponsorship, but maybe getting me to do some videos. So I've started looking at Cold Steel. And you know what? As much as Cold Steel aren't as great, and, and I know you get the, like the snooty people there who have never used Cold Steel, but I've smashed stuff with it, and it'd go through a body, and I'm happy with that. So have a look round Cold Steel, but I'm not very good at quality of katana. I don't understand what the different steels mean. A ten something steel. Somebody explain to me. Somebody send me an email about what all the different steels mean. Because as far as I'm concerned, as long as it cuts and doesn't break or bend, I'm happy. No matter what they call it. Um, but yeah, I would love that information. Uh, okay, Corey, you throwing someone down and using short sword to disembowel them? Yeah, I know. I'm with you. So this is my thing about Corey. It'd be like yo, the guy thought yo, 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 no oh, yo, yo. Like okay, right. Nobody fights like that. But that's cool. What you're doing is cool, but let's make it realistic. Like, bang, right back off, check. You know what I mean? Dead, three strikes, like, I'm there. But they don't do the hyop, hyop, hyop every five minutes. Um, right, George, we're thinking. Uh, it's an oldie. Yeah, thanks for the answer. I'm, I'm here for answers, guys. I'll try and answer what I can. Oh, right. Ninjas did some... Uh, hold on. Okay, right. I've, see, I go on with one thing and I miss a load of questions. Oh my God, right. Um, right. In all your translating, have you come across any legends of the Tengu? Uh, yes, I think um, some of the Tengu are in Yagyu. So there are, they're, they're in Yagyu. And um, I think Notsford, is it? Did a great book on Tengu, I think, but it's like ridiculously expensive. It's self priced, it's ridiculous. I bought it, but it's like 50 quid. Uh, the Complete Musashi, I like it. I've got Alex Bates' Complete Musashi, and I've got a couple of questions out of it. I'm going to ask Alex in the end uh, because there's a couple of things that didn't add up, but they're in his box. So I need to check them. That's I say, I'm not, I'm not there with yet, Musashi, but, and there's a few things I don't know, but there's a few things that I think people just assume too much. So I've got to go and do a lot more with Musashi research. When a game publisher would offer you a partnership design in Shinobi game, what's your answer? I've tried to send them. I even, when they were doing... Um, What's a famous game where it's an assassin, Assassin's Creed? I wrote to them. I wrote to the Tenshu people. I called in the office in Japan when I was in Tokyo. Couldn't get there. I went to game developers in England. Couldn't get in. Nobody wants to talk about it. When I get, uh, yeah, Katana is the best sword. Musashi, hold my sake. Grabs his bock and all right. <laughs> hold my sake. Where did the tabby boot come from? Uh, so, don't, it's not a boot. It's a sock. Originally, they were leather. And then they started using white ones. All the white ones we use in Koryu because we think we're all cool and everything were actually used for the tea ceremony. I think in about 1600s, 1700s, they weren't you? It was like originally it was soft glove leather. In fact, the Italians called them glove leather shoes, basically, or glove leather. So they did have them, but uh, so they're there. Uh, lol, I came at the best time, it seems. Horror. Punks unite. Okay, nice. Um, I just made a link with Reiki and. I just made a link with Reiki and Shah Fourth Kuji. Okay, I don't know why. Okay, um, Reiki is dodgy. Like, I don't mind people. I've had Reiki. My girlfriend does Reiki on me, and it's relaxing. It's wonderful. I feel good after it. And there's something about Reiki. You always fall asleep. No matter what, how awake you are, you fall asleep. So it does something. But I'm not I'm not healed a broken leg yet. You know what I mean? Um, Ninjas did some impressive shenanigans under Tokugawa Law. There was one battle where Tokoyasu had only 500 in a small castle and just still won, right? I don't know. It's not. Which battle is that? Oh, Koryu with full battle in Yeah, I'm, I'm there. I, I, Koryu is wonderful, but it's just not It's not 100%. It's wonderful. It's like 80% there. Now we need to add that other one on. You know what I mean? Uh, 1055 still, that's it. Um, oh, for God's sake. I literally, you know, when you pull your mouse down slightly and that's it, you lose everything. Oh, yeah, the Castle Gate open one. Yeah, I remember that. Um, when and why did suppose Shinobi Shugendo relationship originate? Uh, we've done that actually at Boom Bots. We can somebody answer Boom Bots on that. We've literally spent about 10 minutes at the beginning doing that. So I, I can't really go over it again. Uh, but we have answered it also. When this uploads, it'll be there. Um, steel types are one hell of a topic. Did someone research when I was doing history? Yeah, yeah, I don't get it. It's all really. Where's Scott gone? Is he still around? Um, yeah, cold steel knives are indestructible. They're amazing. I know not a Japanese related topic, but do you think Irish, Welsh, and Old English mythology is. Oh, yes. 
Irish, Welsh, British mythology is proper under under um, represented. It's amazing. I've got tons of stuff on. I love my own history. I love being English. I love being British. I've done the DNA tests as much as they say they're correct. I am 96% British Isles, uh, including 48% Irish. I, I love it. I would do mythology on Ireland. And if I weren't doing Shinobi, I'd do all that. If I weren't doing Shinobi, but unfortunately, I don't have time. Dishonored. I've never heard of Dishonored as ninja games. But ninja Toe versus Katana. Ninja Toe's fake, pretty much. Let's be honest. Um, like that type of blade exists, but it's just a katana. It's a katana. There isn't a ninja toe via katana. There's a straighter katana and a bendier katana, and they're both katana. That's all the ninja sword is. It is literally a katana or a tachi. Um when you do your uh, hold on, call the people who made Shinobi. I've tried to call them; they won't listen to me. When you did your Masashi research, would you please, please, please make a list of all your sources we can copy you? My sources are actually primary sources. Let's look at Masashi and all that. And I'm not about what he did, where he was, and all that. What? How did he fight? Nobody cares what Masashi was doing on the fourth day of August for having beans on toast. Who cares? What we want to know is how did he fight? Can we fight like that? And how do we get that good? They're the real questions. Nobody cares. Well, to be honest, I can't imagine people would care what he was doing on a Tuesday. Uh, Masashi said that the spear and not the sword is the primary weapon of the battlefield because he's right. Masashi was absolutely right. And Scott will back me up on this. The spear is the primary weapon, not the sword. Um, yep, totally. You're totally right, um, Brad, Brad Braze. That's how it just went up. Is it easy for you to reach out to a smaller indie game developer? I've tried loads. I've sent, I'm just sick of it. Uh, still, Scott's still there. I'm sick of um, I'm sick of contacting computer games. I gave up about eight years ago. I just kept doing it. Uh, I'll, I'll wait till they come to me. They will eventually. Why don't we call? Oh. Um, hold on. Why don't we call modern ninjutsu schools romantic ninjutsu? I because it's derogatory. Because I, I don't like to be derogatory to people. So that's why I've changed the name of Koryu to traditional schools instead of historical schools in my in my the way I speak. And then oh Yari is so underrated. Ah, Stefan's on in the house. About time you bloody well turned up, Stefan. I'm an hour and a half in. And I gave about four or five hours notice. Um so it would just be it'd be rude to call them romantic. I've learned a long time is try not to be rude against people's arts because they love it. Even if it's total nonsense, it doesn't matter. Like Reiki, I don't believe it works, but I have a right good time when my girlfriend lies me down and rubs her hands all over me. We're all happy. Everybody's happy. I don't say that was crap, love. Get out, do I? You know what I mean? It's not, she's not going to be happy. She's not going to do it again. So if people want to do modern ninjutsu, like uh, the hand to hand made up stuff, if they like it, they should do it. They're stretching, they're happy. Uh, oh god, I'm losing. Right, okay. Uh, what's your thoughts on Akaban Ninjutsu? It's just martial arts. It's Bujikan related. What well, you know? It's an offshoot of Bujikan, clearly. I mean, or a, a Aiki Bujutsu. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I know Blackie. I would love to do it, but I tell you, I don't have enough hours in the day. It's my Sunday evening, and I'm here. But I wanted to make sure this works. Oh, oh God's sake! Now I'm going to lose the thread. Hold on. Uh, is there any information about what Shinobi families did after Meiji, or especially the 20th century? Uh, actually, by that point, Shinobi, are, they're not even, they're hardly employed. Most of them become families, uh, farmers. Uh, yeah, so most of them become farmers. They're pretty much, they're, the descendants were ninja, and then they sort of stopped. And then they just all lost their jobs. Samurai lost their jobs. Everybody lost their jobs. So they went and got jobs. What they did, there isn't a record. Nobody said, I used to be a ninja, and now I'm a postman. Nobody has ever recorded that. Um, did you get any questions about the Ghost of Shima today? Not one so far. <laughs> Thank you for answering my questions. It's mind blowing that I live in Simon Way with Daryl Pickett. I know it's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. I'm not a historian, by the way. I never call myself a historian. People, other people do. Technically, I do my best research. I call myself a historical researcher because I didn't get a PhD. I would like, I could do, and I've been offered to get a PhD, but it, I haven't got time. And at the time, I didn't have the money. I've got the money now enough to go do it, but it would stop me. Basically, you guys want me to get more stuff out. It'd mean I'd stop for three years and you wouldn't really see or hear of me because I'd be hard at work at a PhD. So, uh, but yes, you know. Uh, did Shinobi have to be skilled in Taijutsu, seeing like the samurai could not carry weapons? Uh, what are you going to do, Taijutsu? What are you going to do? Somebody's got a samurai sword. They've just caught you in the office going through the paperwork, and you're going to what? 1980s hang, hung, hung, what is it? Hung Kung Fu, as my father would say, hand chop them in the neck. No, they're going to cut you down and capture you. You're, you're dead. Uh, the Ninja Scrolls tell us this is outright. They say if you're captured, 
or you know you're seen and captured pray <laughs> or bribe your way or you know or like talk your way out of it pray talk your way out of it or have measures set up like dust powder there's no sort of like and he grapples him and throws him and takes his sword and fights his way out. it's not a clint eastwood film do you know what i mean that's the problem not saying it couldn't be done but most people are gonna you're not gonna get out of there um right so um Fumaryu. I've never seen the word Fumaryu yet. We use that as generic. Yeah, 15th, 16th century, the primary battle weapon was bow match, like in some cases, with the Yari, you see more Yari mentions. When was the Naginata a primary weapon? Is that like, uh, are we talking, when When did the Naginata actually make it, you know, we everybody says it's a women's weapon. It wasn't originally. It was a samurai weapon. But where, where did that go? Anyone can answer that? Why, right, everybody keeps saying to me, people say, Anthony, contact these people, contact these, do this. Why don't somebody out there contact on my behalf? You know what? That would be really helpful if you guys donated at the end of the year and then actually said, Anthony, I wrote to a game developer and they want to work with you and they're going to pay you. I'd be like, sorted, excellent, thank you very much. But no, everyone's like, Anthony, do this, Anthony, do that. Why don't you guys help me get to a game developer? Let's do that. I love community-based things. So I go on Discord and I ask a question because... There's one simple thing in life. If you're going to build a house, don't do it alone. Get your friends to help you. So if people help you, everybody gets on. They feel good because they've helped. I feel good because I had some of the weight took off me. But so far, every time I go on and talk to people, it's like, give Anthony more jobs. Somebody take those jobs off me, please. Um, okay, Fumaryu. Fumaryu is based on Essex. Anything about these guys? Oh, right. I've never... No, it's made up. If it's based in Essex um then no you know it's not from there oh i've lost my place now all right okay i've totally lost where i am fumiru right no mention of nin ninja toe and the ninja might okay right um no i've not been contacted by any documentaries for ages i don't know what's happened but i did well last documentary i was going to do they said uh nobody's interested in japan anymore they're all interested in china so it pretty much ended all japanese documentaries do you know much about the Japanese flail? Uh, no, Chikigiri, I know. Yeah, I recently discovered it. And I, yeah, all I have is basically you smash it over people's heads. I've got one document that says make sure you go over and hit people, you know, like literally over and do it. Don't be messing about fancy, just like bang. Don't You see them all like swing, 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 swing. All you do is put your guitar and it stops it and then knife them. So just like wham, bang, in you go. So martial arts is very, very simple. Get in there quick, get in, don't be fancy but be direct and be strong and forceful um okay how the wood keep their bodies fit medieval people do not need to keep fit they're either being crippled disabled through medieval life or they die of disease or they're fit as hell i went to africa lived in africa only for a month they were fit high mortality rate fittest men you'll ever come across historical um no, 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 thank you, Barbaras. I'm just saying I don't, you know, I don't comment off that because, you know, I have not got a PhD, but thank you for the compliment. It was very well received. I'm going to start, I'm going to get started in game development. Yep, yeah, please do. Please do. Nunchuck, it, effective weapon. Again, what isn't an effective weapon? Is a brick an effective weapon? Yeah. Is a screwdriver effective weapon? So getting it on the head with a piece of wood on the end of a string is never going to be nice. So is it effective? What do you mean? If somebody came up to you in the street and was swinging nunchuckers around and smashed you in the arm because they were proper old school heavy nunchuckers and they broke your arm, I'd say that was effective. So that, I always never understand that question. Is is a boot an effective weapon? It depends if you get smashed in the face with it. I know what you mean by your question. Like, you know, could it, I don't think it would do much against the sword. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think so. But if it's unarmed combat and somebody pulls them out, I wouldn't be happy. Uh, not at all. The thing about Bujikan is most of the schools aren't ninja. It's simply a selling tool. It's really sad. Most, Yeah, but what a lot of people didn't do is read Wolfgang's uh, history of Takamatsu and go to the back and look at the footnotes and look at all the times. He says, this can't be possible. That can't be possible. This isn't right. He hid them at the back quite well, but nobody... I always go to the footnotes because it's the number one thing where people hide things they don't want you to see. Uh, pole arms were vital in the uh, um, Ritsuryo military, which I am working on a video about. Oh, looking forward to that. And they kind of fell out of importance. Right. Yeah, yeah. I would like to know about that, please, Scott, very much. So Taijitsu is a modern martial art, not you. Yeah, Taijitsu is not you. Taijitsu is one word for jujitsu. It literally means jujitsu. It means yawarate, 
Kumiuchi. It's just another random word because languages are not unified until the modern time. There are many, even today. So why do we have, um, let me just think, hound and dog? Same thing. We have hound and we have dog, but you wouldn't say they're two different types of animal, would you? They're both canines. And there we go. Another name for dog. It's the same as in Japan. They are simply lots of different words for different things. Uh, okay. It's, okay. Uh, did ninjas have a style of combat? Uh, oh, okay. Um, basically, right, I'm going to lose position here, guys. I'm just going to lose. I've just literally lost the thread. I can't do it. The thing. Ninja combat. It doesn't exist, guys. It just doesn't exist. If you're living in a valley over there, right? You're all the way in a valley. It's, hold on. I think I've just come up with an idea. I press the down arrow. Um, so you're living in a valley and there's no internet. How do you know what combat the other people are doing? We know there's a basic generic combat that goes around Japan because it seems, but that's probably because people have traveled as Japan has developed. But you're not like, oh, I'm a ninja in the south and he's a ninja in the north and we're doing the same combat. It's just a case of they do generic samurai combat. They learn the little tricks that their uncle teaches them. They live. So if you go back to like 13, 1400s, everybody's living in hamlet villages. Somebody even says they don't even think they were hamlets. They were like single farms spread out. And these samurai had tenants working the land who lived in lesser buildings around the samurai sort of like village. We use terms like village, but actually it's most likely small hamlets dotted around the country like with all the smoke coming out of the thatch cottages and somewhere in one of the buildings the samurai are training boom boom okay well in this we style we'll, we'll do that and we'll we'll lock this way and somebody learned from their uncle did this and it spreads about and that's why most of it is generic because humans are generic and if you look at he, uh, original European, it's not much different from samurai stuff. It's the same locks, it's the same sword strikes, but there are small you know changes. Um because people individually develop them in their own mountains. It's not the modern time. Right. Uh, oh, God. Hold on. I've just worked it out, guys. Why I just press the up and down on the arrow and trying to use my mouth, but sorted. I think I'm on top of it now. Oh, right. Okay. My throat is starting to hurt now. Did, um, don't forget to always end with a quote we all love. Only a ninja can stop a ninja. Anthony, you've got better than a PhD. PhDs may someday teach why you're... You know what? I've actually defeated many people with PhDs on Japanese history. I, I told you, I don't know anything about the dates and the battles, but just simply put some logic together, people, and uh, have a think. History, my entire philosophy is ask the proper questions. Don't go around telling everybody what you know. Ask the proper questions, and you'll find out a new picture. So this is called the, um, the, the overall. I like to use a tree as an analogy. So you plant a tree, and it comes up into two, a split fork, and it's a question. You're like... What did they do? Two questions. What did they do? This is how history works. What happened there? So the original people who started history here said, what's this? And as more and more generations get on, you ask more and more questions. So in the end, you've got a million trees. They've all got multiple branches and they're all spreading out. And eventually it crosses over and everybody, you start to see a network of these trees. And when you take a step back, you see a beautiful forest or a picture or lines on a picture, whatever you want. Question, question. Split questions, split questions. And the smaller you get those questions, by starting at the base, you build from the bottom. So you start with the trunk of the tree. You don't just go straight here and guess what's up here. You start and you go and you go and you go and you go. And though you're smaller, you can get your question, the more you know about the general topic. Yeah, the more you know about the topic. So the more questions you ask, the better. And that gives you a better understanding. Oh, my God, my voice is killing two hours straight. I'm pretty good at talking, but Jesus. Um, right, OK. The Naginata Golden Age was the 12th to 14th century. I didn't know that. Thank you. But there are some records that are still being used in the 16th century. Perfect. Yes, Scott, I didn't know. Uh, hold on. Also, Gungaku, is that samurai guns? No. So be careful here. Gungaku does not. Isn't it weird that the Japanese word for gun, for military, war, is gun? And our word is gun. I'm going to ask. When did gungaku first come word? Has somebody heard the Western word gun in, in the 1500s and oh, we use that word like they used, like Isui Sensei, you know, in Natoru actually uses an English word. He uses an English or a European word. I don't know which one it is, but he calls it a button in Katakana, a Bhutan. He says your, your tabby, your sort of um, the tabby you use 
uh, which we, we talked about before were cloth or leather by this point. He says you use a button. Mental, isn't it? That the English words were there back then. Christmas was awesome in the 15, uh, 1500s. Uh, right, thank you, Scott. Thank you very much. Is there any AI jutsu techniques in the scrolls you have researched? Yeah, I've got loads of AI scrolls, but uh, most of them are always the same. And it's like, um, have you noticed in the um, uh, Yamamoto Kansuke one, which was done by William Scott Wilson, I think, uh, their sword is Tachi style. And nobody ever points this out. He does Iaijutsu, Tachi style, with a katana. Oh, well, it's a Tachi katana, whichever one you do. So basically, uh, I have always had this question. I think katana used to be Tachi style, even in the obby. There's tons of art to support this. There's historical documentation for this, which means Iaijutsu in the 1500s was not that way. It's this way. So blow your mind or what? Do you know what I mean? So... Tell me how they did the Aijutsu when they're walking around with their sword and you can see in thousands, I'm not low joking, thousands of pieces of art. They've Some people have it down, some people have it up. This idea that imagine if you go in a dojo and you wore it up through your obby, you'd get laughed out. But actually they're wrong. All the instructors in all the Koryu who say you can't have your sword that way are totally wrong. And I used to be wondering like, oh, you know, the sword goes this way. No, <laughs> check the, check the, check yourself before you wreck yourself, Limp Bizkit. Um, Naginata around third BC, yeah, it's like it's almost like the Japanese um bow as well. In the band of Chuke, there's a recipe for sleeping powder, cut the head of a brown dog at night. Why is it brown dog? Why not a black dog? Supernatural, uh, you know, what I mean, it's all super. Get the blood of this, get that. Uh, I've loved to try them sleeping recipes. I want to try it, but I've never, I'm worried one of them sleep means death. So, <laughs> but um, e, there's loads of recipes where it's, it's actually red and brown are interchangeable sometimes. And uh, it's just a religious thing. But you could question, you could go back, why a brown one? I don't know. Because in Mubioshiri, they use brown bat, which is a red furry, not a black bat, a red furry bat, you know, whatever they have in Japan. So, yes, why? That would be amazing. Do you know what always makes me laugh? If you never get any other sort of um, the other ninja, where's Dean and where's Krista and where's Stephen Hayes and where, where are they all? And, you know, I don't understand. Um, I'm the only one left from that generation who said, let's all get together and make something happen. And none of them did it. The only one who stands still is me. Unbelievable. Um, how well documented are the Japanese crossbows? We talked about this before. Scott might be answered this. He might do a, a Google search or he might know. I don't know. But basically, Oyumi is the only word I've ever known for crossbow in Japanese and not so much. Same as Last Samurai's and random crossbows. Yeah, you're all right. We should fight together. We do. If some people helped me, I'd be so happy. I don't mean people come to me, they email me and talk to me and think that's helping. No, that's not helping. I need people to go out there, send me a quick email and say, Anthony, I've contacted this company. There's a graphic company. I want to talk to you. I will get your name. I will send you a free book. I will take your picture. I take the picture of people that I deal with quite often and I put them in a special folder of people because I know that many people have contacted me that uh, most of them go into folders. So I know I can go find that email. But when I know someone and I'm constantly doing something with them, I put their photo in a folder with their name underneath so I can keep an idea of who it is because I just couldn't remember that many people, names, faces I can do. Um, hold on. Um, I want a job in quality assurance in games. Perhaps I could do something about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get me in there. But would be great to look at them. So, no, I don't look at modern schools. I don't look at it. Send me a link. Send me a link to my email. I'll try and remember it later. But... It's always the same, and it look at this modern school. Well, it's fighting, so they made it up. The end. You know what I mean? What is it? Here's my ninjutsu. I've done this. Well, that's made up. Sorry. Right. Um, I'm pretty sure the only China documents we can get come from CPC. Yeah, yeah. Wow, what African country? I, I went to Ghana for a month and I dug in an archaeological dig, one of the only two I've ever done, actually, because I did theoretical archaeology, which we're the brains behind the archaeologists. Practical archaeology dig theoretical archaeologists piece together and build stories so when the, the practical archaeologists do their digging they then go home and make a site report and that site report becomes a published paper and that published paper goes into theoretical um basically goes into the you know the academic domain and then theoretical archaeologists is what i trained in piece together what happened and that's what i did and it was the most useful degree i could have ever got I, that's exactly what I do. I get evidence from the past and I piece it together into a story. And that's why I can't be doing with all these people. Like, let's be honest, the Bujikan at the minute are trying to sort of say Natoru is Togakure, but this is where they've never been to university or they don't understand university. Like you build the story you from the evidence and there is no evidence. The only evidence they've got for this Natori Togakure crossover is that 1968 Bugei Ryuha Daijiten that the word Natori appears in it three or four or five times, something like that. Um, 
in his fictional, which is openly said as fictional lineage. That's it. But they will do their best to bend over backwards to say, well, Anthony's putting Natoriu together. And if we say we, we are meant to be connected to Natoriu, but they're missing more. If, before I go, ask me what it means. If they connect Natoriu to Toga Kure, ask me what that means just before I go, when I catch up. Uh, thank you so much for giving me more accurate information and show me, like you said, and we learn the cool idea. Well, cool that I'm working on a visual reality game or listening and just started it and inspired you. Yeah, please do get it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I saw some guy pull out an untruck in the street and then he go slammed to the ground and kicked in the head. Nice, good. The moment he took out the nunchuck as he got attacked, well, yeah, you pull out a gun, somebody's gonna jump on you or you're gonna shoot him, isn't it? Krista is trying hard to make it seem like what she's doing is authentic, but it's obviously fake. Actually, I'm going to defend Krista here in one sense. Is most of it is Toga Kuryu. So she is copying Toga Kuryu, and the rest of it seems to be coming from the Vance and Shukai, the Shonen King thing. And there is some other stuff that you obviously added. Um, I can't find the video on YouTube. Okay. So, yeah. So I, I do. This is what I mean. Kawakami showing stuff from scrolls. Krista showing stuff from scrolls. But, but why, for Krista, why would she not just get involved with the community? I know, I know why she's not getting involved, but why go back to Toga Korea? I can't understand it. I can't understand people who, sh like, not just her, but other people are like, we know, like, Toga Korea is, I don't understand why people, like, it's fun, it's your dojo, go to it. They're your friends, you follow Hatsumi, but all you have to do in your mind is this. All you have to do is go, okay, Takamatsu made some stuff up, but we've got, out of nine schools, with uh, nine, we've got six that are apparently real martial arts schools. I've nothing to do with ninja, so let's focus on them and just let Anthony get on with what he's doing. That'd work, wouldn't it? But no, they don't do that. Uh, when it's regarding history in Ghana, uh, was it regarding history in Ghana? Yes, we did. Uh, the Talensi people, uh, in Ghana, the Tongo Hills in Ghana, in 2008 2008 i know it was 2008 i stayed for a month with the talenti people to create history for them i was on the third year dig there they were there for and they're there a year after me i think and it was uh very nice it was the hottest place i've ever been and i would never go back but africa itself was a shithole and all these people have gone about african and you don't want african culture you do not want african culture it's horrific lorries falling off in the road people just nicking everything you don't go out at night you get shot people sort of witch doctor medicine getting done you're told don't ever go out the compounds with armed guards yeah no thank you we'll keep with uh we'll keep with english culture which is scones and tea does my head in uh krista teaches slightly modified american kempo saying it's ancient ninja stuff yeah that's what i don't like about krista putting across martial arts in ninjutsu she knows it's not so i don't know why she says that to be fair in defense of the bunjikan has a doctor in japanese yeah he does. And you know what, Kugane, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I've read his book and I spoke to him at the time and I did a, I did a, my video. I should have done it in a different way. But I was like, has this guy got a PhD? Seriously. Clearly the Bujikan has paid for him. Clearly he was like trying to support the Bujikan. He tried everything in his power, but it wasn't. No. And I, I never call people's work, but that was not real research. That was not. And if you last the Toga Kure people now, they don't support that theory. They support the Takeda theory now and the Natori theory. They no longer support Zakem's or Zakima, whatever it's called, his theory. I don't mean to disrespect that. I don't know how to pronounce I'm useless with names. Um, okay. Uh, hold on. Um, general issue is that we live in the age when history is being distorted, erased, and counterfeited. People prefer fantasy. Yeah, if you know you're being scammed. Yeah, I don't get people who are scammed. I don't get it. Much respect. Yeah, Africa's rough. Yeah, rough as shit. I would never go back there. Yeah, I would not go back to Africa. Was, I couldn't wait to land in England. I was like, my God, civilization. And that's not racist. That's true. For those people who say it's racist, go to Africa. Take your daughter to Africa, who's 14, and let her wander the streets without you. Go. And I bet you no one would do it. That's how not civilized it is where I went in Africa. I don't know about other places, but you would not let a 14-year-old daughter walk those streets in Africa at any time of the day without someone, especially if she was white. No chance. Uh, I, I was obviously white, walked out and got pretty much mobbed. I got straight back in a taxi and went straight back home. It was bloody horrible. Money, money, come on, governor, money, money, money. Come in, come in, in my shop and they're dragging you in the shop. You're like, Jesus Christ, get off, lads. And they're massive around you and they're all tooled up they're in little shacks and you're just like eh, this is not good um so i was not a fan of africa 
uh, some of it was cool, like, but like when I was out in the jungle, uh, not the jungle, when I was out in the um, Tongo Hills, that was cool. It was not like it was just the tribe, and we had the protection of the chief, so we were. It was no problem. It was dead easy. You could walk around. It wasn't dangerous, so that was nice. Um, okay, I'm just reading something about Spotter. Okay, I'm not sure if that's a question. Okay, Spotters, obviously a racist white man. Like, obviously racist white man because I have an opinion. So I actually hate racism. I genuinely hate racism. If there's anybody who's the least racist people on, on earth, it's me. I hate it. I'm not sexist. I'm not racist, but I'm a realist. And I always use the same thing is, I think if I saw this to you before, so if you're trying to reach for a jar in your house, and there's two people living in the house. It doesn't have to be a husband and wife. It doesn't have man and woman. It could be two men sharing or whatever. Um, you know, you've got some flatmates or whatever. And one of you's tall and one of you's short. And the jar's up on there. Do you say, I don't get that for me? No, no, I can, I can get it myself. No, you just do what? You help people with whatever it is. So when it comes to chopping logs, I chop the logs. The missus makes the brew. Uh, okay. So that's why I do in the Bunch can. I just focus on the six schools. The new schools are sadly BS. Yeah, perfect. A Japan at war. Excellent. Super. I didn't know you were. Oh, yeah, I didn't know you were Bunch can, Stefan. I remember. Yes. Yeah. Where well, you need to say more, Stefan. Come on, let's get back on Japanese anyway. I know it always gets political um, and you'll get me on a rant. Uh, Africa, something called street justice. Yeah, this is the future, dude. Demographics don't lie. Okay, right. Well, let's not go back down uh, politics. So let's keep it to um, let's keep it to ninjas. Yeah, I've seen a tie burn execution. It's fucking horrible. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it was bad. And I actually went, all right, if we're going to, I actually went to a village where a man literally just captured women and kept them as witches. And if they went back to their villages, they were burnt alive. So he, they had nowhere to go and he just raped them every day. And, and they had like 40 or 50 or 100. I can't remember. He had 100. I was like, yes, this is a weird place. Um, right. Okay. Black Eagle, calm down on the earth. Uh, it's going too fast. Right. Uh, any more? So let's get back to Ninja, guys. We're at the two hour mark now. So, whew, right, let's get back to Ninjas and Samurai, and I'll do a bit longer if anybody wants me to stay. I've got a little bit longer. I need to get some honey or a sweet or something for that. Right, okay. I know. Yeah, I know. I agree with you, Scott. I agree with you. Let's get it back to Japan. Um, what are your thoughts on Yasuke? <laughs> so, there we go. So, uh, right, okay. Okay. Okay, right. So, yeah, let's not go down there. The thing is, is we all have to worry about talking about racism, but you can't even say truth anymore. That's the problem. Tokugawa Yasu was a unifier, was he? Mm. Okie dokie. Well, Scott will probably jump in on that one. Oh, okay. Lemonade, but yeah, all right. Lemonade, right. I was thinking of Locket Sweets. You know, the old, I don't know if you had them there. Tokugawa Yasu was a unifier, but did he really do it to unify? Because the, 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 the things, the rules he put in place and his son put in place were North Korean style rules. You tell me that the rules that they put in place were not a dictatorship. We always use these words. You got to be careful in history when you use words because it's, you only have to say one word to change the way you, even though it's a truth. Tokugawa Yasu unified the country. Truth. Tokugawa Yasu created a dictatorship and military rule. Truth. Okay, which you know, what I mean, it two totally truthful statements that give you two totally. So when you go, when we talk about the tree of history, and you start putting branches together, and little questions, you get smaller and smaller. That's where you're like, is Tokugawa a dictator or is he a peaceful monarch-like unifier? Because let's be honest, they're kings. Let's be honest with them, they're kings. If it was England, they'd be kings. But because the Japanese emperor is, in my opinion, the pope, more like the pope, and the kings, like the doc, the daimyo are more like English kings. You'd totally say he was like, you know, like, let's call it the Battle of Hastings, William the Conqueror. <sighs> Apparently my ancestors, the Cummings, came with William the Conqueror. What an amazing man. Except he just came over, harrowed all the north of England, murdered so many. It was called the harrowing of the north. He butchered the Anglo-Saxons uh, to a point that it was like, just a, it was a Pol Pot, you know what I mean? He, he, if you look at the harrowing of the North, oh, so is Tokugawa a unifier? Is he a dictator? What do you think? Um, okay, guys, sorry. Oh, right. Okay, I'm just going up a bit. 
Yeah, when Shinobi had to fight, mainly on battlefields, Shinobi had to lead people through battlefields. Battlefields not just an open space. There are battles where there are open spaces, but you're talking about skirmishes. You're talking about a lot of people. So in Siege Warfare, the Shinobi go in the siege line and they go in trenches. Nobody ever talks about samurai trench warfare. We never see it. They have sandbags. They have trenches. They have siege engines they have siege lines and you never see it and the shinobi at the front you never see it they are going into um forested areas the shinobi lead they go on night attacks the shinobi lead the shinobi are there doing their bit but you take your shinobi lead the fighters that's the point um okay oh right okay people don't have to lie through what were some brutal samurai ninja executions like the blood eagle in vikings um execute the soaring one. Oh, the bloody soaring one burning alive roasting alive boiling alive um obviously decapitation um and disembowelment <laughs> so, so them ones if, if that's enough for you um do you know the true origin of Aikijutsu? I can't find it. As far as I'm aware, Aikijutsu is a late 1800s. If we're talking about Takeda Ryu, Aikijutsu, I think is a late 1800s. So it probably has its roots in Edo period, samurai warfare, samurai martial arts, but then gets codified. I think if I remember right, I've got a book on it somewhere. It gets codified uh, by the early 1900s, I think. So I don't think it goes back to Takeda Shingen. I, I think it's a different Takeda family, but, you know. Do you guys find any Ninja Toe in history? I've just done a video that we're looking for it. It seems that the first Ninja Toe apparently comes up in 1926 by um, uh, Gingetsu Ito, but we're working on that right now. So actually... We're working on that. Uh, no evidence on the Meiji Restoration, but I think there is evidence of the um, what Scott was saying before, the basket-wearing head guys, Kumoso, I think, and I think they were working as spies. Because remember, Shinobi is the word we all use, but they had Ometsuke. Um, oh, what's the other one? There's a few different words anyway. First, by Kanja, of course, and they had another one. Yokome, I think. Yokome is a secret observer. So they had loads of words. It was Shinobi is actually a military guy doing special forces. Kanja is like your spies. And then you get your sort of grasses or your people in place who are grassing people up and observing. And then you get overseers. So they're all different terms, but people have just gone blanket Shinobi. So actually, it, it, you know, it, Shinobi is only one of them. Um, right. Yeah, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, I think it was that rule by war for hundreds of years. You can't just be peaceful unifier. Yeah, yeah. But who's ever been a peaceful unifier? I don't know. Um, thoughts on Akban? Yeah, we've just talked about that. Uh, it just looks like a martial artist, and I appreciate all people who do martial arts. I think it's wonderful that people do martial arts, but why is it why is it called ninjutsu? Are there any historical texts that actually tell us that Usikinchin had a personal guard armed with a nagamaki? All right, okay, a question for you guys. So Cold Steel, I was on Cold Steel website, and they have got what looks like a nagamaki. So go to Cold Steel, look at Japanese swords, and in one of the series, it's clearly, they say it's a nodachi. It's clearly a nagamaki. Am I wrong? Cold Steel have listed it as... Um, Nodachi, as Nodachi, which actually means practical battlefield sword, large sword, great sword. If you go for the other one, which I forget the name of at the moment, guys, but Natori explains this. There are two swords that a samurai have to wear, not two swords, but two different swords. He has his ceremonial tachi, which has different fittings, and he holds it in a different place depending on where um, it is. Japan at War, if you've got my book there, Go to the section on Tachi near the end of he Hegu Yoho, and it should have the name of the other style Tachi. And then there's also Nodachi, which is a practical battlefield. Like, literally, it's plain. It's easy. You just smash people's armor with it. Um, so, but I think the I think Cold Steel have misnamed one of their swords, but I don't know. But I don't know about Nagamaki in the history thing. Sorry. Okay, hold on. Uh, right, okay. Um, all three unifiers could be called in case I would join the period. Yeah, I know that. So that's a problem. Are they nice people? Are they not? Was it just for the time? Are they tyrants outside of time? So is it just normal? So this is the thing that we've got to bring up. I'm not saying they're just horrible people, but I'm saying that's the world they lived in. English kings, Richard the Lionheart was like, yeah, sod the Muslims. Let's go to Jerusalem, murder everyone. Oh, wonderful. Richard the Lionheart is a good lad, isn't he? 
I don't know. Is it? Can you? By our standards, that's ridiculous. Imagine if we just all went to the Middle East and murdered everyone. Imagine how bad that would be. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So you know, but they they do it. So I don't know. So my question is this: I want people to stop thinking of samurai as these wonderful heroic heroes, but I don't want them to think of them as evil tyrant horrible people i want people so i sometimes go a bit on the tyrant side because i want people to say oh, okay there's a balance he, yes he is donating to charity yes he is getting monks going out yes he's doing tax you know rebates if you want to call it that or tax um what, what's the word i'm looking for you know i mean helping people out but he's also boiling people alive decapitating people and destroying cities so you know let's not see him as either or the other let's go down that middle path as buddha said uh, so Scott there, yeah. Japan was already unified by Hideyoshi. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, yeah, totally. I'm going to talk about trenches. Yes. Okay, when? Let's get the trenches out there. So Stefan is Japan at war, guys. He's going to hopefully get a video out. He's doing a video for me soon, but we've just had problems with helmets. I think that in land that was ruled by war 100 years can't be a piece of stuff. Yeah, I don't think he can. It's not Odin, it's not Odin if it's not boiled. <laughs> right. Are there any historical texts that actually tell us Kenshin had a person? All right, okay, after I've gone past a bit. Okay, oh, yeah, it's just gone a bit silly. Let me get back to the bottom. Thoughts on, oh, you guys write so fast. I don't know how these big YouTube channels do it. How do they do it? How on earth do you, you should be at a favor, you should be at a click somewhere that it favors a question and comes up and you can get it in this. So there should be two streams. On this side, I should have a mouse so I go click and it jumps to that screen, click, so I can ignore the comments. Not ignore them, but you know what I mean? Not have to scroll back through them and get my actual questions here. So then again, Ninja in the front. Well, I'm going to talk about trenches. Ninja in the front. I think the land that was ruled. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Again, it's just jumped up. Uh, Nagamaki. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm just getting the materials. I really want to make a lot of the stuff to show. Yeah, okay. Ninja relieved information mostly. Right, they were ninjas on the battlefield. Yeah, ninja were on the battlefield. So ninjas did a few things. So ninja is a term that is used later on when Japan is becoming unified. It's a un The dictionaries are getting unified. The language is getting unified. Uh, before Oda Nobunaga, you've got a Japan of lots of different places. You've got a Japan that is literally a medieval country with lots of different places and people sporadically going to war. Nobunaga unifies, and we're using that term unifies, and the next thing you'll start to get unification, and then they bring them all into cities, and then they're all coming out of their little hobbit holes and their little shires, and they live in cities, and the next thing, dojo culture springs up, language changes, and basically, and they even said, like, we know the Jesuits are saying things are just changing so fast. They ban the swords. They do everything. And the next thing you know, the Shinobi are just listed as this. And then everybody says, you only see the Shinobi in the late eight, 1580s. So they must be fake. No, maybe you do see the Shinobi back to 1300, but you only see it very limited. You're looking for the wrong word. So it's when people look for Bushido, you're not looking for the word Bushido. It really makes me angry. People are like, Bushido doesn't exist. Actually, I found Bushido in 1400. But actually, even so, you're not looking for a word. You're looking for what the word represents. People forget that words represent something. So Bushido is the way of the warrior. Do we have a warrior code before that term is created? The term, again, like Shinobi, becomes popular surprise surprise when japan is unified oh my god rocket science this is why people sometimes do pasty you're just like come on you know that i know the battle for this day i know the date for this battle i know the name of this you know the name of that yeah but let's think about language and how that has changed the scope of japan and why the probably these words jump up at the same time rocket science right yes samurai were monks and priests yes uh there can be a thin line between nagamaki and Dodachi. yeah i don't know so have a look at the codes. Can somebody get put a picture on here of the cold steel uh, Nodachi? Uh, why the ninja boom in the 80s and 90s? Uh, right. Okay. Because Japan had an economic boom. Japan was famous for its economic boom in the 60s and 70s, which means we have an overspill of everything Japanese. So it wasn't that ninjas were famous. Japan was famous. Japanese cars, Japanese TVs, Japanese computers, Japanese everything. And you get people want to go to Japan, Tokyo, sushi, sushi restaurants, ninja, karate, all that, even though karate is Okinawan, but by that point, it would have been 50 years, 60 years in Japan. That's why the ninja boom happened. Nothing to do with... Um, uh, right. 
Richard uh, the first one of the most loved English kings who hated everything English and was French. Yes, exactly. Thoughts on Henry VIII? Total idiot, let's be honest. Um, just because he saves Robin Hood and I don't know in movies. Donald. Like Shadow, some samurai became monks when they're... Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, monks, yeah. And they had... Takeda Shingen is a Buddhist name. Shingen is his monk's name, if you like. And uh, Uyasugi Kenshin, Kenshin is his monk's name. That's not their real names. So uh, we say Oda Nobunaga, but Takeda Nob something or whatever he's called, he's actually not called Shingen. Um, that's his Buddhist name. Um, we need more history on Africa and Europe too. 34 inches for a blade and 23 inches for the handle for Andachi on cold steel. Okay, the picture is like it's a nagamaki. If you see it, I don't. I don't think we can put pictures here. Uh, history is so fascinating. I agree with you wholeheartedly. It's amazing, isn't it? Flying Danzo. Uh, which one's he from? Because you get a few of them. Toby this and Toby that. Basically, probably, but it just meant somebody light footed. It wouldn't be that obviously he's not flying, but it's somebody who could climb walls easier. Somebody who could jump around parkour style stuff. So when people say like Les tells me off, actually Les Con tells me off all the time. He's like Anthony, you're making everyone not think that the ninjas were like running around on rooftops, and they were, <laughs> they were, but not all of them. A few of them were doing that. A couple of people were running around on rooftops. Most of them are in like you know the rest of espionage. But yes, Les, there are there are the running around on roof rooftops. Um, uh okay what scrolls or information do you feel you'll never find Masat Miyamoto Masashi's scroll on ninjutsu how amazing would that be how amazing would it be Masashi says you should learn everything I think he even says go try prison and stuff like that he did Miyamoto Masashi perform ninjutsu because yeah people forget that ninjutsu is done by two types of people it's done uh broadly speaking People in the military use ninjutsu and people who do thievery or protect against thieves. So you get the ninja people and the thief people and the thief people are where ninjas come from. Ninjas are born from thieves without a shadow of a doubt. I can't say too much. Les is doing stuff on that as well. But in Japan, they always say, if we don't have a principle for ninjutsu, you're a thief. That's it. So um, I would love to find Masashi's ninja scroll, even though there's no talk of it. I would love that to be real. And there's a few Natori scrolls that I'm really, really upset about not getting. And I've only got partial copies of some. And what I really, really want, really want is Tanki Yoho, which is a scroll I think exists. We've seen reference to it in various things. And it is Natori Ryu's hand-to-hand -hand combat system whatever that be is whether it's horse on combat whether it's like uh tal because natori drew loads of pictures in some of his manuals loads i've sent some of them to stefan from japan at war and if he's got tanky yoho illustrated like he's got the other stuff illustrated we'd have a fully illustrated fully armed and operational natori martial arts system which we would get straight on top of uh to the dislike of the booty can and we would teach martial arts i am looking for that scroll and probably sean askew is looking for it as well because he watches my videos and finds out which scrolls but i don't mind as long as somebody finds them they find them good luck to sean and his publishing good luck to everyone basically let's get it out there um i have to stop soon guys uh bloody hell right uh i'm trying to make sure i've answered every single one yep okay so uh, sorry guys yeah okay so scott's come on with the buddy stuff and say why did you let a cartoon ghost make a crazy mad face at me it's not funny dude what i don't know what that means um i saw his armor when i went to england the one when he was young yeah yeah he was big man in the end of the eighth on here sorry hanzo is the most famous ninja yeah but he's a leader of ninja he breaks into a castle at the age of 16 leading people on a night raid that's about as ninja as you get breaking into a castle in a siege on a night raid, being a captain of men at the age of 16, 15. Uh, I think he's the captain. Yes, that's Ninja. So when people say he was too high ranked for Ninja, like, well, he was too high ranked for Ninja because he was a general. Why at the age of 16 was he breaking into castles and leading other stealthy men? So basically he started as a Ninja, did really well, got clearly spotted by Ieyasu and went up the ranks. These people say, see, it's another one of those historians like Hattori Hanzo is too famous to be a Ninja. And he's too high level to be a ninja. But he didn't start there, did he? And he's famous for breaking into a castle. As far as I, Maybe I'm wrong, guys. As far as I'm aware, Hattori Hanzo is famous for being young and breaking into a castle and leading men to do it. If that... And he's from Eager. Do you need me to say any more? 
Um, okay. Artillery spotted the target, way cracked and rifleman. For some reason, the most effective ninjas are probably more of an artillery spotter. Yeah, yeah, all right, artillery spotter. Basically, ninjas are scouts on a battlefield. They go in, they're looking at flags. Look at the Bantan Chuka in Monomi section. He's ninja on the battlefield somewhere watching, like he says, spotter. And they're watching for flags. Flags that are tipping backwards, people are getting ready to retreat. Their subconscious is saying we're going that way. People who are getting ready to advance, they're, they're getting ready to advance. So the Shinobi will have coloured flags and he'll have a signal system and he's going, not morse code or anything with a uh, semaphore he'd be like red flag means um they're attacking yellow flag means they're not attacking and he's watching the flags going like that and checking them he's watching the maneuvers he's looking for ambush points he'll spot an ambush point and be like ambush point and and then somebody else is looking at him and there's a relay system going back on the battlefield ninjas are cool and and people are like oh it's too far-fetched it's it's i don't understand why people don't believe ninjas are real it's about as common as you're going to get on a battlefield sort of stuff um yeah, okay. Okay, mate, no problem. See you later. I'm going in a minute. Shingon's adult name was... That's it. Haru Nobu. That's I thought it was No Something. And Kenshin was... Kage Tora. Okay, yep, yeah, before they took vows and then they get Buddhist names. Yep. Puts online. Look, okay, right. We'll do it. Okay, I'm going to go in a minute, guys. <laughs> Full body Yakuza tats. Boom! My cousin has actually. I've got a cousin called Alan Land, and me and him grew up together. We did fighting together. We used to walk the streets when I was about 10 years old with like the cloth round, and we had a fight with like the local lads and everything because I was born in a rough area. And we used to do all that, and he's gone full Yakuza tats. He's like the full lot. <laughs> and he became a tattooist, I think, and he practiced on his own legs. Yeah. So when my cousin's like there taking his top off, he's a bit buff, and he's like, he just looks like a mess now. You know? Uh, well, no, his tattoos are good, but he has to cover them up, I think. Um, Japan at war, I feel better. I was knocked out of commission for a couple of months due to medical stuff. Okay, uh, right, we're gonna wrap up now, guys. Uh, thank you for Anthony, everyone. Okay, right, let's stop there. Okay, Anthony, you need to have mods on your lives, mods, because if you don't, it will get hijacked by political trolls, race trolls. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It does go off on time, and I don't mind people getting angry sometimes. I can understand the world is in a weird place, but it's his, and I, and I like to say all the time, all the time is racism is the worst thing in the world. We should never race. We're one people, one people, get on with each other. But that doesn't mean you should oppress anyone. It doesn't mean you can just generally kick people out of their country. It doesn't mean they're not allowed to be who they are in their own country, which is obviously happening in the UK at the minute. The UK is not a place that it used to be 20 years ago. So I understand why people are angry. I totally do. Right. Okay. I'm going to do about another live stream in about another month. Okay, guys. So I'm just wanting to test this one. Um, so we can see if it uploads and everything. That's two hours 16 now. So I'm going to go. Murray's in chat. He reads everything. Yeah. I, I would like a moderator, though. I might get Scott. See if Scott wants to do it. I don't know about Ninja Century, but Japanese is Century. Yeah, yeah. I agree, Scott. Okay. A lot of Yakuza tats in Korean saunas. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I would like a moderator, actually. I would like a moderator. I don't know how it works. I'm useless at this sort of stuff. I'm useless at it. I'm terrible. I don't know how that works. That's mint. Yeah, I need I need an assistant. I need to be rich so I can have an assistant. I go, assistant, make it work. I just need to do this and gesticulate. Obviously, I talk with my hands a lot, which is gesticulation. And um, so, you know, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't like, like everybody should bond together. So I don't mind Black Eagle having, you know, he wasn't being racist. He wasn't being horrible. He was just feeling strong about, you know, everything. I get it. Um, but yeah, we should have everybody pulling us back together. You know what I mean? Uh, they can think of a month, what to ask. Yeah, yeah, keep up the good work. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Right, okay, I'm going to cut off in a minute. I'm going to upload this. Um, so yes, let's try in the future. I don't mind, as I say, it going a bit all over. Let's try and focus it more on Ninja Samurai um, in a month. I do get a bit sick of the same. Do you do play Ghost of Tsushima? What about... Um, we need some way of sort of like cutting and pasting it, you know, so people don't ask the same questions over and again. I don't know how to get around that because likely when I actually look at the stats for this afterwards, most people only watch for about 10 minutes, you know, and then go, we're on 57 people now, 57 people watching. It was like 40, 60, 70, 57. So people are on and off. I don't know why, you know, I usually think, um, right. Okay. Thanks a lot for the answers. I hope catch you. So, okay. Perfect guys. Looking forward to it all. Right. I'm now going to press the button. So that's it. I'm finished looking at that. So that's end of that. Thank you very much, guys. I am now going to relax uh, and enjoy my evening. 
hopefully my voice will come back i'll upload this and thank you very much for your input thank you for staying with me and uh thank you for like all i ask is if any of you out there want to donate like you've said in the thread do it at christmas do it at christmas that's all i ask just put a, a bit of money away and i will take that and i will i promise you i never spend it on myself it goes on research and scrolls and uh if you know anybody in the games comic community role-playing communities that want and like they're running a company or they're doing something not like they want to develop something they're actually developing something get me in touch i've talked to so many people they're like i'm developing it i spent days helping them and nothing ever happens so i've stopped doing that now it has to be a real thing uh thank you very much right so okie dokie guys um don't forget follow me on tiktok my publisher asked me to be on TikTok. It's just full of young girls, but, you know, and me. But they asked me to do it, so I'm doing it. Okay, okay. Right, guys. Here's me reaching for the button, saying goodbye. Um, thank you very much, Dean Bradbury. Thank you very much, guys. End stream. Three, two, one. Bye-bye.